Okay, good morning, everyone. Oh, turn down this volume. We have liftoff, ladies and gentlemen. We are here live for the CPI report. Hello and welcome to all cats. There we go. Hello and welcome. Yes, we are here early this morning. We got CPI data coming out right now. Check out SoFi 893. Who bought with me last night in the after hours at 874 for the low? Who did that? Who did that with me? Oh my gosh, everybody. How can you pass that opportunity up? Look at this thing. CPI data is out. Apparently is good from what I'm seeing here. All right. Welcome, everybody. Hello to you all. Let me get the display up here so you can see what I'm seeing. Hold on a minute. Before we go much further, give me a dime so I can call my mother. All right, look at that. 898, going to break through nine, and it's going to, folks, it's going to have a higher high open again. <laughs> higher than three days before, four days before, two days before, and yesterday. We're going to open higher. And this is what we want to see every day. Look at this thing taking off, 901, 905. That was yesterday's open right there. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And, folks, I got a sell order in here today, not at 913. I've already sold twice there. I'm going to sell at 920 today. And then it's going to break back down. I'll buy it again at 913. And then, boom, we're going to, we're going to see it go beyond 920. It's going on up. But that's where I'm going to sell today, 920, buy back at 913, perhaps, and then off we go, up to the tens, all right? That's my call. I could be wrong, but I don't think so. So welcome, everybody, if you're here with me. We got four people in here in the tank right now. Hit the like button as soon as you come aboard, folks. We're running. Yes, yes, yes. Anybody else come in with me last night? In the after hours at 874, 875, 876, buying up shares. Look at this baby go. And today I'm not selling at 913. I don't think it's going to stop us this time here. I think we're going to propel right on up to my 920 number where I've got 2,000 shares for sell. And then I'm going to pull it back at 914. I'm going to buy it again at 914. If they pull it back at all. I don't know if they will. I hope they don't. I hope they can't do it. But we'll see. We, you know, I normally sell right there at 912, and you guys probably should too, and can probably buy back at 901. But right now, we'll just have to see what happens. You can usually sell at 913 and buy back at 908. That's what I usually say. And uh, there you go. You would have just done it. You would have just done it. Good morning, everybody. Thank you for being here. We're early because we wanted to get in on this CPI data. And, uh, we are going to soon see how that affects us. Is it going to make us go supersonic? You like my picture today, my thumbnail? So if I break in barriers, and today the barrier to break is 920, all right? 920. That is going to be where they're going to try and hold it back. Whoa, yeah, baby. Welcome, everyone. Please hit that like button. Justin Schaefer, let's go catfish. That's right. Come up at exactly 9.30 today because we wanted to, be, I mean, 8.30 because the CPI report is coming out right now. Has anybody got any news on that yet? Anybody got any news? Where are you, Mopar? I know it's real early your, your time. CPI data. Let's go here. CPI data. We do not need images of that. We're looking for news. All right. CPI Bureau of Labor and Statistics is a measure. Okay, we got that. CPI latest numbers. Higher inflation may reset the clock for the Fed rate cuts. One day ago, CPI indicator 3.4. We're looking for 3.4 to 3.6 is what we're looking for. Anything below that is bad. Anything above that would be Bad. Anyway, we're looking for 3.4 to 3.6. Yeah, 
Anybody that has any news, let us know. Oh, yeah, baby. Ho opening hi higher than yesterday's high is what we're looking to do. And yesterday's high that it opened at was 904. Yesterday's open 904. And what I like so much is the open at 817, the open at 819, the jump to 875, the jump to 904. And what are we jumping to today? That's the question. I want to thank you all for being here with me. And uh, you can see now what the number means to them. Yesterday's open was 904. And they're certainly going to try to stop it from opening higher than that. But, folks, we got to find out what's going on with this CPI data. Let's go over here, and we're going to change this to CPI data to CPI latest data. Mike Service, wasn't it PCI, not CPI? Yeah, PCI, that's right. My bad. <laughs> PCI. <laughs> Sorry about that, <laughs> but that's okay. Uh, let me see here. <clears throat> Took a few pictures last night. Uh, was looking at some other sites for some valuable information, which I was able to gather. And it's PCE, folks. It's not PCI. It's it's not CPI. It's C it is CPI and PPI data. Uh, CPI slash PPI data and uh, expected 0 0.36. Uh, this would make it the highest since January. Let's see here. We forecast a core rate of 0 0.4 month over month. And uh, this is a forecast and 5% uh, annualized rate. This is, Okay, hold on here. Uh, U.S. course PCE preview. There it is. PCE preview. And that stands for personal consumption expenditure. That's what it is. PCE preview. <laughs> PCE data. PCE, personal computer index. Here it is. So if we got any news on it right now in the late last few minutes, we're going to go up here to this thing and change the filters and tools to any time, and we're going to make it past hour. Inflation report today, core numbers and what else to watch for, PCE data. PCE inflation for January, Dow futures slip ahead of key. Uh, six minutes ago, here we go. Key inflation measures rose 0 0.4 in January as expected, up 2.8% from a year ago. Inflation rose, and this is just out, it says here at 8.32 a.m. one minute ago. Inflation rose in line with expectations in January, according to an important gauge the Federal Reserve uses as it deliberates cutting interest rates. The personal consumption expenditures price index, excluding food and energy costs, increased 0 0.4 for the last month and 2.8 from a year ago as expected according to the Dow Jones consensus estimate. Headline PCE, including the volatile food and ener energy categories, increased 0 0.3 monthly and 2.4 on a 12-month basis compared to respective estimates for 0 0.3 and 2.4 according to the numbers released Thursday by the Com Commerce Department's Bureau of Economic Analysis. Look at SoFi now, okay. Oh, boy. What's she doing, baby? Oh, yeah. Ah. Run, baby. Run like the wind. Come on. Run like the wind. Shanisha, when is this thing going to pass $10? <laughs> oh, don't you worry. She's going to go by. She's going over 10 She's going over 10 within 20, 25 days now. My target price is at 25 days from now, over 10. And way over 10 come the next earnings call, people. Way over 10. This number you're seeing out now in the pre-market at 904, that's where we opened yesterday. And what I tried to show everybody yesterday, which I thought was interesting. Yep. She climbing, that's right. What I thought was interesting, and I like this a lot, 
is I was looking back here to February the 23rd and I saw an open of 817. The next day, I saw an open of 819 and then I saw a jump in the open to 875. I mean, doggone folks, that's a 50 cent, 54 cent jump. And then look at that, a big jump again, 29 cent jump to the open yesterday. And now we're going to open even higher. All right. That's all we want to see. DD Files, you have a good day. Oh, man. We're all going to have a good day here. All of us. All of us. Thank you for being here with me as we watch SoFi rise. And I want you to know we got our eye on this one here this morning. ACMR. Okay. It was down 3% early in the pre market. And uh, I thought that would happen. So I bought a little bit of this in the pre market. And uh, I want to show you. Yeah, it was down in the pre market. They, they tried to run it after hours last night where I picked up a few. And again, this morning in the pre market, ACMR, I was looking for a pullback. Uh, and I saw that. Okay. And uh, that's because it went up massively yesterday, but I loved the chart on it. And I'm going to show you right here where we were for the low ACMR. ACMR. There they are. ACMR. ACM Research. And uh, I want you to see what was going on in the pre market. It was down, as I said. You can see right here they had it down, and it was even lower than this when I bought it. I'll show you right here if you go to see more trades. And you'll see where it was. And uh, this is what I expected. I expected to see a pullback, even if it was in the early in the market. And you can see here, we were all the way down to 2981, folks. They drove it down. And uh, if you go way back here, uh, to you keep going back, you'll see it was even lower. And the, when I got up this morning, right after it was, it was probably around eight o'clock that I decided to come in, and uh, it was around 29.50. And uh, you can see that it was higher previous to that. But, folks, it was looking good at 29.50. So I said, I'll take it. So I picked up a few shares at 29.50 of that stock right there. And I said it was going to be run down in the morning. And we needed to look for an opportunity to come in. I said that. And uh, it did this morning in the pre-market. So very good. Oh, Yeah. I want to thank you all for being here with me as we're here early because we wanted to be here before the data came out and we see what its effect has been. It was good and it's going to be good, folks. It's going to good. Be good. And I want to thank you for being here with me. Uh, I hope that you uh, bought some of this SoFi stock last night when it was driven down in after hours to 874. And uh, I bought it. I started buying it at 878, 877. And then as the night went on, I just sat on there and I just kept buying it. Every time they threw it away, I, I, I said, I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll take that. I just bought up about, oh, probably a thousand uh, shares worth because I've, I've sold so many folks and I needed to get some back. Looking good here. 2950 now at 3084 ACMR. Yesterday I had a 40% increase. This morning they ran it down 3%. I bought it. And uh looking at some other ones here. This one continues to fall. I've just got my eye on it. I'm not buying it. I'm not suggesting anything. I just got my eye on it because they made such a massive run up on no news. Her horrible news. Looking at Bitcoin today up 4.22%. I'll take it. That's a lot better than 60,000 than it hit yesterday midday. We're going over here. Uh, close this tab. Don't need to have that open. BITF, folks. Check it out. <laughs> Goodbye yesterday when we came back in on that one. That was very nice. By BITF. At 316, 317, 318, and 319. Beautiful. PLT are up, up this morning early. Look at this. CLSK up 6.47% this morning after being driven down 13% yesterday. All right. There you go. 
We're looking at some other ones here. GCT looking good. I told you about this stock when they drove it down to buy it about three days ago. Man, did they knock this thing down on no news whatsoever. They slaughtered it down, made it drop $10, and then they bought in and it went right back up. Beautiful. Here's what I'm showing you right now. The one-month chart. One-month chart, please. Not the one day. One month. There it is. Look at that right there. Price was freaking all the way up here to $36, and they drove it all down to $24, a $12 drop. <laughs> Holy smokes. And then it just went right back up because somebody wanted in. And that could happen to any stock that you own, people. They can do that anytime they want. I tell you, they can do it anytime they want. And they can get in. They have their ways to get in at the lows and then keep running it on up. Just like they did with SoFi when they ran it down to 778 on the 13th of February. 778 on the 13th. And here we are at 906. Day. Xavier, yo, J Rod, good morning. Oh, yeah, baby. Look at SoFi on the rise, everybody. It was at 918 already this morning. 918. Again, bumping on that doorstep of 920. 918. Well, at least that's what they're showing down here. I don't even think that's right. I think that was yesterday's high. I don't think they keep track of it yet today. 883. <laughs> what a joke. That's not the day's range, folks. Last night, it was $7.74 at the uh, closing at 8 o'clock. $7.74, I bought a bunch. Bought me 1,000 shares. Want to thank you for being here. What a beautiful, I mean, $9.74, not $7.74. Uh, $8.74 was the price. $8.74 last night. Now, I see my screen is just now... Uh, Gone away and come back in. Sanjay didn't realize 913 sell triggered pre market. G uh, well, good. Very cool. Good deal. And look where you can buy back now. Look where you can buy back now. Oh, yeah. Uh, we're looking at Bitcoin as well. It has hit the bottom right there just now. You can see on the one hour chart, it hit a bottom right there. And that was very good to see that because that was virtually two places where we'd already seen it resistance as it went up. So resistance as it went up there, resistance as it went up there, and there it becomes resistance that same level as it drops down. So very good to see that. I like it a lot. I expect to see BITF to continue to uh, accelerate upwards. And I uh, want to thank you all for being here with me. My average, let's see. Justin Schaefer, my average is 890. Where should I sell just 35 shares? Well, folks, I can tell you right now, there's going to be a stiff resistance at 920. So I would suggest sell some at 919 and then buy back right around here, where it is again now, right now, maybe even lower. Uh, they're going to try to hold this thing under 920, very, very, very much so. There's been many times that they've done that, and they've one time it hit 918, the same high of 918, and they drove it all the way down to $6.41 after that, okay? But I don't see that happening now. There's just too much volume now. It's too much volume. There are too many... Equity funds buying in, too many ETFs, too many pensions, too many school funds, too many state funds, too many insurance companies buying in right now. There's a lot of indicators from very long-term buyers coming in on the stock now, everybody, that never have been here before. Sanjay says, Pre-market sold at 913. Yep, it was there. It was there briefly, just for a moment, just a little bit ago. And folks, the reason they're holding this at 904 right now and are trying so hard is because yesterday's open was at 904. And they've got a trend going here that they're going to try to stop today. 
because the trend is higher opens every single dang day, okay? They don't like that, all right? I can assure you that they do not see, do not like seeing a low of 810 followed by a low of 811, by a low of 816, by a low of 870, and a low of 883. That is looking dangerous for them. Very, very dangerous with these lows going up every day. And that's all we should care about. The highs are going to get attacked, but the lows are what we need to be concerned about. Those are the resistance points each day getting higher and higher. And that's what we want to see. It looks like today is going to be another example of that, a much higher low than what we've seen before. I'm happy with what it's doing right now. I'm very happy with it. And in case you didn't know, the data that came out today was the PCE. All right. This is the PCE. It's the personal consumption expenditures data. And it came out in line with what they were expecting, exactly what they expected, including the volatile food and energy categories, increased 0.3% monthly and 24 on a 12-month, compared to respective estimates for 0.3 and 2.4. So no surprise today on that move right there. Key inflation measure rose 0.4 in January as expected. Okay. So that's good for us. That's very good for us. That adds to stability, and that's going to make a great day in the market. Look at the NASDAQ futures that has suddenly spiked into the green just now. You can see that they tried to scare people out in the pre-market, but look at the NASDAQ futures. Look at the Russell 2000 futures, folks, the Russell, the small cap index. Just rocketing up, people. Oh, yeah. Harry Toe, good morning. Good morning, Catfish and everyone. Welcome, Harry Toe. Ah, oh, yeah. Harry, Harry Toe. He's here because he wants to know. I can see that SoFi could go crazy today. Ah, oh, yeah, baby. It sure as heck could. And uh, there's a lot of stocks that could look good today, including this one, CLSK, up 6.5%. Dang, nice. Good evening from the Philippines. RC, hey there. Good evening, RC, the Philippines. Hey, uh, you might be familiar with some of my music. I'm very, very popular in the Philippines. And uh, I don't know why. My name is Tyler, last name Self, S-E-L-P-H. And my music is being played all over the Philippines right now. <laughs> ah. All over the Philippines, my music is being played as we speak. I do not know why, but I am a big artist in the Philippines. You can go to Amazon, Google Music, Apple, uh, Google Play, Apple Music. Um, uh, you can go to uh, Spotify and check out all my songs on there. Hit my play uh, of my playlist, and you will be on a magical musical journey. I promise you. Okay. All types of music, all styles of music. You can see down below my my broadcast here it even has a link showing you how to link to my playlist on youtube and listen to over 120 original songs that i have listed on youtube and uh, i want to thank you all for being here with me and if you just hit the youtube playlist and listen to it while i'm talking i'll make money folks you can actually contribute to the channel by doing so if you hit uh spotify and hit my playlist and you just click on that and let it play while I'm talking about all this information about SoFi and other stocks, then that'll make me a little bit of money, and I appreciate it very much. Still in BIT bar? Yes, I still own BITF, absolutely. I sold it at 398. I bought it back yesterday at 316, 317, 318, and 319. So uh, very good to get back into it because it's getting ready to rumble again. And I look at Bitcoin this morning. Look at this thing, folks. Look at the one-hour chart, man. This thing has just exploded off of that low where the resistance was going up. There was the resistance right here at that point and resistance right here. And as it dropped just now, it got to that resistance as it was rising, and that became resistance as it dropped. And man, did that thing bounce off of that thing right on up. Beautiful-looking chart right there as we see it continue to climb. Approaching an all-time high. 
And uh, I don't I don't even know what the all time high is. If we get to hear all, let's go see what the all time high was on this stock ever on uh, on Bitcoin. Maybe we can get a chart to come up. All time high. Come on now, I want all time. Show me all time. Doesn't want to do it. Let's try the one year. Dang, man, oh man, folks. I told you guys this a month ago. Get Bitcoin. It's going to run up. <laughs> Sanjay says about 69,000. Yeah, I think that was the, the number. I don't know why uh, they won't let me see it here. It's a mystery on the Bitcoin site. Coindesk.com doesn't want to show me the all-time high. What was the all-time highest price for Bitcoin over the last 10 years? Here's what I found. Why don't you just tell me? Make it easy instead of this BS. Yesterday was a good buy on BITF. <laughs> See, this is ridiculous. I, I've got to go through all this crap here, and they, they won't show me the all-time high. Why don't you just tell me? Bitcoin reached a peak of 63,558 on April 12th of 2021. On November 10th, 2021, Bitcoin again reached an all-time high of 68,789. And then it pulled back 4,000 after that and closed at 64,995. There you go. Man, oh man, folks. And I told you this was a good buy back when it was $2 a share and 208 and 213. I told you to buy it then. Oh, yeah. Just burned another calorie. It's Tyler's fitness program here. If you want to burn a calorie today, hit the like button. It's guaranteed that you will lose weight just by hitting the like button. I promise you. At least a calorie. My wife just said, my, oh, God. <laughs> Thank you, Bert for coming here for the morning workout program. You guys can do it too. Burn calories, lose weight on Catfish Tyler's stock channel and be entertained with music and festivities during the day. That's right. No, no, no. Today I got on early for the, uh, the, uh, the data report that was made that came out. Uh, that was the PCE, right? PCE report came out at 8.30 this morning. It was right in line with everybody expected. And that will help the market. That will help stabilize the market, everybody. There's the data right there in case you wanted to know. The personal consumption expenditures price index, including excluding food and energy costs, increased 0.4 for the next month for the month, and 2.8 from a year ago, as expected, all right? It said headline, PCE, including the volatile food and energy categories, increased 0 0.3 monthly and 2.4 on a 12-month basis, compared to respective estimates of 0 0.3 and 2.4. No surprise, and so therefore, so if I fly. That's my call. No surprise in SoFi Flies. That's what I wanted to see happen, and it did take place. And I hope you like, oh, look at that. They're trying to run an ad, even though I specifically demonetized the channel this morning. They're trying to run an ad. Skip ad. 
And they got monetization on these. Uh, we're going to edit that right now, dadgummit. Get that off of there. We don't want commercials on this channel anymore because we got donations coming in from people like you. Yesterday, we had several donations. I want to thank you, those of you who came in here and donated yesterday. Brew Tank Outdoors. Monetization off. Turn it off. Done. Save. Now we got rid of the commercials for good. Make sure you make up for that a little bit for me if you can. Send me a little bit of funding. $5, $2. Everybody who pitches in $2, if we have that happen today, I'll make $1,800 today. My wife will be out of her mind with happiness. And you guys will be happy too because I'll get to stay on here all day, every day. Otherwise, she's cutting us off, folks. Cutting us off. I sure am happy to see that we're going to open higher today than yesterday. And that day was higher than the day before. And that day was higher than the day before. And the opening before that was higher before than the day before. It's four days in a row now, higher highs, folks, opening up. That is scary if you're a short, believe me. Every morning they're waking up. Can you imagine, folks, how you would feel? Well, you don't have to imagine it. You've seen it. <laughs> Where we've woken up and seen the price drop another five cents and then another three cents and then another four and then another five. And we've seen it for runs from when the price, uh, coincidentally, was at $9.18. And then four months later, the price was six forty one. So that was a long time for getting slaughtered down from 918 to 641. And if you don't know when that was, I'll show you right now. I'll show you. I will be happy to show you right now. All right, I'm going to show you right now, everybody. Every single one of you, focus. Focus in. There was the high right there, 918. September the 14th, 918. And then from that day, folks, down, 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 down. Like the fame song. Fame. Right? Fame, 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 fame. There was, folks. 918 to 641. Ah. Hi, everyone. Anand Patel. Hello to you. PCE, PCE data was very good. Key inflation measure rose 0 0.4 in January as expected. Up 2.8% from a year ago. But I want you to see right here, it actually says, headline, PCE, including the volatile food and energy categories, in, increased 0 0.3 monthly and 2.4 on a 12-month basis. So which is it? What, which is it? Why this conflicting data? Why a headline that says 0 0.4? And then down here, why does it say 0 0.3? Who, you Anybody want to explain that for me? Anybody? Thank you, Mike Fratalia. Mm, gracias. Mucho gracias. <laughs> that is good because there's no surprise, see? No surprise. Headline, PCE, including the volatile food and energy categories, increased 0 0.3 monthly and 2.4 on a 12-month basis compared to, it says, compared to respective estimates for 0.3% and 2.4, according to the numbers released Thursday by the Commerce Department's Bureau of Economic Analysis. The move comes amid an unexpected jump in personal income, which rose 1%, well above the forecast of 0.3, and spending decreased 0.1% versus the estimate for 0.2%, okay? 
<clears throat> gain. So people are hoarding their money right now. <laughs> That's the breaking news on the data by the Fed this morning. And you can see how positively that's being reflected in the market because you can see all of the futures have now gone green. They were manipulated down yesterday like they always are before the key data comes out. And the next thing you know, the data comes out and the Dow futures is now up 56. The NASDAQ futures up 96. The Russell up 29. And folks, we are going to break through the sound barrier at 920 today. There's 913 for the second time in the pre-market. <laughs> I like the sound move, S-O-U-N. I saw it yesterday get manipulated down and I said, ah, I'm not worried about that. <laughs> I said, I'm not worried about that. And I had no reason to be worried about it. Look at that. Oh, it's beautiful. S-O-U-N. Ha <laughs> ha. Look at that. One month chart on S-O-U-N. We have killed it with a stock. We've made a fortune on this stock, folks. And we're going to continue to do so. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. 914, folks. We just broke the 913 barrier. We're going to 920 right now. And if we break 920... Oh my gosh, folks, this is going to be insane. Did you hear? Did you hear the missus just now scream at me? Lower your voice. Everybody who's here with me right now, I want to ask you to please hit that like button. Catfish Tyler is going golf mode now. All right? Not going off, <laughs> going golf. Going off, going golf. So, ladies and gentlemen, as we observe so far now, truly the front runner in the banking industry as we approach the back nine. <laughs> Actually, we're just teeing off, everyone. Just teeing off. As my thumbnail indicates, we're about to go hypersonic. Just like the Soviets' missile launchers, hypersonic. Yeah. Be ye not afraid. Uh, be ye not afraid. We are going hypersonic. And you're going to see this occur very, very rapidly once we go over 920. Uh, I believe to be a guess for me is that we're going to see a very big time removal of many institutions that have been shorting the stock. And in fact, I believe that's already started to happen. I want to show you something, and I don't want you to be alarmed by this, but I want you to see that institutional ownership has gone from 790, we actually had 800, and then we saw it drop to 796, and now we're only seeing 790. But here's what you need to be aware of. Institutional shares over here has been climbing, and we're about to go over 40%. Now, that doesn't seem... To make sense, does it? But it makes perfect sense to me because here's the deal. Many of these hedge funds that take up long positions also will sell those long positions because they are hedge funds after all. They'll sell out of those long positions to take money to cover their shorted positions. And so right now, unfortunately for them, this price has been rising and rising and their shorted positions in the fours and fives and sixes is costing them a lot of money and they're being forced to sell their long positions to cover their shorted ones. One of them even just left again. Another one, it went from 33 back to 32. But the key part here is institutional shares has not dropped back down to 38, even though we went from 800 to 790. That's what you need to understand, everyone. Brew Tank Outdoors boss yesterday at 879. I know you did. And I stayed on Brew Tank and uh, I kept watching it and I kept buying it. I bought over a thousand shares last night in the after hours and the lowest I could get it 
was nine dollars, uh, eight dollars and seventy four cents, right near the end of, of the closing. They tried to, they tried to throw away shares, and I was there just gathering them up, gathering them up. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I knew what was going to happen. Look at it now at nine twelve after buying at eight dollars and seventy four cents last night. Beautiful. I'll take it, man. Every time. 30 cent gain off of yesterday's buys. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Everybody, thank you for being here. I've been told to keep it down, so we got to keep it down. We do not have the granddaughter here in the house, but we got Mamacito. And Mamacito told me to bring it down a notch. So we're doing the golf. We're taking the golf. We're golfing. We got the golf voice going. As we can see, ladies and gentlemen, right now, this one right here, folks, I bought it this morning in the pre-market at $29.75 or $29.50. I told you we'd be looking. I told every one of you to watch this stock because this big run-up was going to see a shake of the tree, and it would probably come in the morning, and it came in fact, in the pre-market. And if you go over here, you'll see what I mean. If you go to the pre-market data on this stock and you go down here, you'll see there's where I was buying it. 29.50, folks. Bang, bang, boom. All right. 29.50. Sweet. And one thing I want you to be very aware of, they don't show all of the trades here. They're not showing them all. Guarantee you they're not. They're not showing them all. But look at that, man. I, they drove this thing down, and they drove it down. I wish we could get down in here. Let's see if we can get to a, another time. Here we go. Let's get down here to 7 and 7.30, all right, because that's when we could get in on it. And uh, you can see where they had it. It was at 29.76, 29.88, and then they started working it down, folks. They started working it down. You can see right at 7 o'clock, it was at 29.99, and then they just started hammering it down. And they got it all the way down to 29.50 after it was at 29.70. If we go to the next one here, uh, hold on here. We'll go to 7, 7.30 to 8 o'clock right here, this time slot. There it is, 7.30 to 8 o'clock. And we go all the way back here. 29.70. <clears throat> there they were driving it down. See, 29.65, 64. I just sat there watching and waiting. I'm like, man, where's the bottom going to come in here? And I just kept waiting. I was patient. And bam, they got it to 29.50. And I said, I'm in. So congratulations if anybody else was watching this this morning. I told you to keep an eye on it this morning. Because anytime you see a move up of 40% like that, you're going to see them shake the tree. Okay? Anytime that you see that. And they shook it this morning. And hopefully you had your eyes on it and bought it with me at 29.50 or somewhere in that range. So uh, there you go. A learning lesson. Meanwhile, as we jump back over to SoFi, we are going to see it open at a much higher high than yesterday, which was a much higher high than the day before, which was a much, much higher high than the day before that. Oh, my goodness gracious, folks. Shorty in trouble now. Shorty in big time trouble now, boys and girls. We're going to have to see Shorty come up with some real volume today, borrowing more shares. They've gone to a record high of numbered shares shorted, borrowed. 158 million. 158 million. I want to go over here now and look at SoFi pre market data. SoFi. Where are we at now in volume? It was quite low earlier. Pre-market high, it says 9.15. Look at that, at 9 o'clock, the doggone pre-market was 9.07. Oh, <laughs> oh, my gosh. Where's the volume now? 2,210,000 already, folks. 2,210,000. This is going to be a great day. This is going to be a very good day for SoFi investors today. I'm pleased and happy for each and every one of you. I want to thank you for being here with me. 
We have 105 people that have been on this channel. I got 21 likes. Come on, step up and hit that like button right now. Let's hit that like button. I hope you like my thumbnail picture today of SoFi going subsonic, breaking the sound barrier. That's what it's doing, folks. It's getting people's attention. It's getting a lot of institutional investors and a different ilk of institutional investors are now entering into the fray, the arena. Okay? I'm telling you, these are different institutions. They are not the same as hedge funds. These are long long-term institutions that are accumulating shares right now. Ah, Brute Goutdars bought yesterday at 7, 8.79. Katie Wentworth here. Hey, cat, off topic, but you have plans to see your son again? Life's so short. Yes, he's getting married on November the 10th, and I'll be there at the wedding. So, yes, indeed, I will be seeing my son again. We are staying in contact. We've been sending each other messages and talking and it's so fantastic, folks. It's just so, so cool. Look at SoFi. Run it up, everybody. Thank you for asking. You the man. Good morning. Itiantes. Itiantes. I like that name. Etienne. I used to have a good friend named Etienne that was in Haiti when I went to school in Haiti. There are some people here that know that I went to school in Haiti and c'est la raison que je peux parler français maintenant avec toi. Uh, si c'est possible, vous parlez français. Je dis merci beaucoup que vous êtes ici avec moi aujourd'hui. <laughs> it ain't easy. It ain't easy. Ah. That was easy. <laughs> oh yeah, everybody. <laughs> I like it. It ain't easy. <laughs> uh, so, as I was just saying, if anybody here happens to speak French, or si c'est possible, ou capable parler créole, on parle créole too. That means yes, and I, if it's possible, you speak Creole. I speak Creole too. I can speak Creole like English, and I speak French almost like English. Uh, je sais presque le même avec français que je suis pas l'anglais. Et, et ici, t'es un Canadien français qui est ici, t'es ma, uh, Madame Queenfish here. <laughs> Elle a des Français, Canadiens Français là-dedans. L'histoire de cette famille. All right, sorry. Just getting a little bit sidetracked there with a little linguistic stuff for you. Let you hear some French. Good morning, all, says Ron. Welcome to the tank, Ron. 44 viewers here as we're looking at SoFi making a continued run and about to go supersonic once we break through a $9.20 barrière, <laughs> which is not to be confused with derrière, which is what the pain will be coming in the derrière for all the shorters today, ladies and gentlemen. And especially once we achieve a break above 920, then the pain will come very hard, very stiff, very girthy, very dry, very splintery, very painfully. It will run up and up and up. And they're going to have to dive deeper and deeper and deeper into debt to stop it. As they already have done, as they've raised now the game and have shorted 158 million shares, 158 million as of yesterday. That's right. Three months ago, they had shorted 989 million shares. Now it has doubled to 158 million shares, almost doubled. You need to be aware of that, folks. They're digging a deeper and deeper hole for themselves to become buried in. 
Thank you, Ron, for letting me know that. I appreciate that. L-A-E-S is on the move. That is this stock right here, in case you didn't know about it. It was very, very nice. Awesome. Look at that. And you know, I just bought this again at $1.70 range, I believe it was. L-A-E-S. And I owe it to you for that happening. Yes, I bought it at $1.95, $1.97, and $1.98. Thank you very much for telling me when it was down so much. And uh, it, w it was when I first got into it at $3.80. I bought 100 shares. And I bought 100 at $3.82. And it kept rising, so I bought 100 at $3.85. And then it dropped like a freaking rock on me. <laughs> And someone told me, hey, man, might get a buy opportunity here. I jumped over and did. I bought it. Good deal. L-A-E-S. Good, good, good. Get on back up there in the threes. Eight hours ago, they just made an agenda, announces agenda of its 2024 annual general meeting of shareholders. Geneva, Switzerland. I have a hotel booked in that place. I have a hotel room. Actually, it's a it's a Airbnb booked in Geneva, Switzerland, and uh, on Lake Lucerne. I have a vacation, a whole vacation planned, with tickets to Amsterdam, Dusseldorf, Germany, down the Romantic Highway, all the way down to Switzerland, over to. Italy, back to Switzerland, over to France, going to the beaches of Normandy, speak to my French friends, and then across the channel into England. I got a booking at the on the uh, Dover, Cliffs of Dover, and then also into closer to downtown London, England. Yes, thank you for letting me know that, Ron. Tattoo Chance Lucky. Good morning, y'all. Thanks to the Lord. We have another day. Yes. That is a beautiful thing to say. And one of the, it's not just another day. It's now a pattern developing of another day with a higher opening. Starting at 817, 819, 875, 904, and now today's opening, 911 plus. All right. Beautiful. Beautiful. And we are seven minutes away from the grand opening of SoFi's new banking center. And the news is out, or we believe it is, if you happen to be one of the people that tunes into the channel by one of the people from the uh, Trading Fundamentals, Tevis has narrowed down which of the top five banks it is that SoFi signed the deal with, okay? In case you didn't hear about this, SoFi's Chris LaPointe announced at the last fireside chat that SoFi had developed a relationship with one of the top five banks. Stanley Davis comes in with, enters the tank, splashing into the tank with a donation today. Golly! This is a new individual to our channel who knows the importance of supporting and showing the love with a little bit of money. And if the thousand people that come here a day would give me two bucks, my wife would be overjoyed and we'd stop and we'd be able to just go and go and go with this channel all day, every day. Two dollars out of every person. That's all we're asking for. Hit the sticker thing and make a donation of two dollars. Surely if you bought this stock with me in fours, at the 466 range or at the 566 or the 666 or the 766, surely you've made enough money by now at $9.12 this morning to throw out $2, every one of you. Make my wife happy. Make her happy as a flea on a nice fat dog. Okay? You know, she's not going to be happy for me comparing her to a flea on a fat dog. So you guys, I might need medical coverage. And uh, you guys can help support that. Thank you, Stanley Davis. I appreciate it. Stanley Davis, folks. This is a guy I haven't seen here often, 
But man, look at this. He's right here yesterday along with YZ, Stanley Davis, and Brew Tank Outdoors. And I somehow messed up YZ's full name. I'm sorry about that, YZ. You, I can't remember the second part of it. But uh, you're there. And there you go, folks. Stanley Davis. Stanley Davis. I, I mentioned his name because... He knows what's going on. He knows that my wife needs to see a little income coming in here every day. We are four minutes away from ringing this bell. Are you coming to London Bridge, Anand Patel? I am. I'm going to go to Tower Bridge. Tower Bridge. That's the true name for it, as I understanding. And I'll be visiting. And I will be visiting all the fun people in London, England. And I'll be having some of the best cod you can wrap your lips around, okay? Come to my shop, all right. I dang sure will when we get there. We have not defined the exact dates of this. We booked all of this and COVID came along. We booked all the reservations. We have purchased the plane tickets and already paid for them. And now we COVID hit, <laughs> So we sat on the sidelines until everything clears out and they don't have all these mandates for vaccinations in every you know, country. And it made it impossible to try to even go because they were going to put you in quarantine for two weeks once you got there before they let you go out and mingle with the population. So we just held it on the side. Maria Powell. Yes. Thank you, Maria. Oh, my goodness gracious. All right. I wish I could put a heart on there. Where's the heart there? I'll put it right there. Thank you. There's a heart for you, Maria Powell. And if everybody on this channel would do what you just did, Maria, every single day, someone just throw in $2, $3, because you're making, you should be making a lot of money off these calls, folks. I mean, if you bought in on CLSK when the price was at $6 a share with us and seven, and look where it is now. <laughs> 1926 and it's already been over $20 where we sold it and we bought it back lower and then we sold it and bought it back lower and we sold it and bought it back lower. This thing's become a, a good of a gold mine and we owe it to Danny Dimes for this uh, call out on CLSK. I'll call out Danny Dimes 10. Diamond Hands Danny Dimes. Thank you, Maria Powell. <clears throat> Thank Oh. Uh. Oh, this stinking thing. And Stanley. There we go. Thanks for your hard work. I appreciate it. Yes, thank you very much. Here we go, folks. We're one minute away from ringing the bell. Let's get ready to rumble. SoFi is indeed going to open higher than yesterday's high. This is a trend we want to see continue day in and day out, people. Higher lows every day as well. And we are seeing that. And here we go. I'm going to ring the bell prematurely. I want to see this thing open up right here above 904. Right now, we got to hold it over 904. Come on, for a continued trend. Come on, ring this bell. Ring the doggone opening bell at 907, and that's an increase. Come on. Get that dang thing rung. Oh, I'm ringing it. I'm ringing it. I'm ringing it. I'm ringing it. <clears throat> Thank you, Stanley. Come on, let's go. Get this thing going. Let's go. We got to have this bell ring any second now, doggone. Looks like it's on freeze. There we go. Opened higher again today. Opened higher again today. Now we refresh the screen. And amazingly, all of the markets are green as can be after another pre-CPI down day. We're seeing this repeatedly, 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 repeatedly. And look at this, folks. Bring it shorty. 3 million shares traded already in the market this morning. We're going to have another 40 million plus day today, folks. Maybe more. That's right. Want to thank you all for being here with me while we see if we can press the press this up button to 921. 
and break above that. Oh, man, look at this volume. Now we breast over 3 million, 3 million 28,000, 3 million 55,000. Look at that. There was a 30,000 share dump right there to try to drop it to 903. 3 million 157, 160, 3,000 share. I already told you 3,000s are always shorts. Almost always a 3,000 share dump is a shorter. 902 now, 903. And by the way, I bought this last night at $8.74 in the aftermarket. 75, 876. I bought over 1,000 shares last night. Uh, all right, Sanjay. Yes. Oh, ooh, look at all these fish coming in. We got a donation now from four individuals who understand the need to do that. And I appreciate it very, very much. There's no advertisements on the channel today. Thank you, Sanjay and J-Rod. You know how happy my wife is going to be to hear all of you people making donations right now? That is awesome. You know how long this list is going to be on my fish that have donated today? It's going to be insane. We got to... Got to look at this thing taking off 909 now, folks. I want to get over here real quick. Everybody's name has to be on here. Maria, J-Rod, Sanjay. Maria, J-Rod, and Sanjay. One day, I'll have to have another page for this. Uh, Maria. Hold on. Maria. Oh, we better put them in order that they came in. Let's do it that way. And if I forgot anybody, I would be horrible to do that. Uh, Maria Powell, J. Rod, and Sanjay, H71. Oh, yeah, and we got another one now. Look at that. It Ain't Easy just comes in. Thank you, It Ain't Easy. Ha! <laughs> It ain't <laughs> easy. Thank you. Look at all these people, folks, that we got on this list giving today. Now, Brew Tank Outdoors, he'll come in later. So I'm going to just go ahead and thank him now. <laughs> he always does. He's that, he's that dependable, folks. Oh, yeah. So all these people saying and by giving donations, I want to thank you so much. Doggone it, everyone. Thank you so much. You're making my day. And you're showing appreciation for my efforts. And that's all I can ask for, folks. And like I said, I'm not asking you to send me $100. I'm not asking if you made $5,000. You don't need to send me $500 or 10% or 2%. Or I'm just asking. Look at that. Danny Dimes jumps in. Thank you, Danny Dimes. I don't have room for your name on the sheet. Can we call you Dee Dee? <laughs> we got Double K and we got Danny Dimes. Oh my gosh. Got to get back over here now. Hold on. Got to get Danny Dimes in here in this. We'll take Brew Tank out because he his was yesterday, but we're putting Danny Dimes in right here. That's right. All right. All these people coming in. Thank you, thank you. Danny Dimes now comes onto the list. Oh my goodness gracious. Let's celebrate. Let's celebrate. <laughs> Just supporting. Ah, oh, no, 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 no. You're getting added, my friend. You're in there. You're in there with everybody out. King Cat. YZ, Stanley, honey, yes. You left your, um, your speaker and your radio I went over and turned the machine off. Well, I thought I turned it off. I'm not worried about the radio. Uh, just give me a second here, everybody. Give me a second. I got to make sure I have my machine off. Hold on. Oh, y'all stay right here.
All right, we're back. We're back. We're back with King Cat Tyler. So I have this right here. King Cat. We got to take YZ off here for a second. He Maybe he'll come back, but uh, King Cats. Uh, and it is cats, plural. Stanley Davis, Maria Powell, J-Rod, Sanjay. There we go. Sanjay, 71. It, it, it ain't easy. Danny Dimes, 10. Say catfish. We'll be right back. All right. Thank you very much. All right. That is a lot of people, folks. I'm very grateful. Thank you very much. Back to the page. All right. Let's get this headphone back on. 69 people. I like that number. That CLSK dip is paying me again. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Display is back up. Now we're going to go back here. Oh, ho, 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 ho. this is exciting, people. I cannot help but be excited. I want you to know that uh, we have targeted and, t and uh, determined. Now, you heard the news on the Fireside Chat. I mentioned this yesterday on the Fireside Chat that Chris LaPointe made a very good a statement that caught everybody by surprise and a lot of people have been trying to figure this out and the big news is Galileo being taken on by one of the top five banks to help them with the migration of all their data into a one pooling source they can use Galileo by one of the top five banks what was mentioned by Tevis this morning, I was watching early, very early I got up this morning to give you this information, people. And some people ask me, you know, Catfish, why in the world do you get up sometimes at 4, 4.30 in the morning to get information about the stock and so forth? Well, so you don't have to. <laughs> That's what I like to say. Look at all this money coming in here from all these donators, folks, who are happy to be making money with us on this channel. And we're all making money. And if you're not making money on this channel, it's really your own fault, okay? That's all there is to it. There's no reason for you not to be making money when you look at all these stocks. Take a look at this. I bought this stock this morning in the pre-market at third at uh, $29.50. And look at that thing now. I told you they'd attack it in the morning. I told you we were going to have to watch this when it was up 40% yesterday. And I said, they're going to attack this tomorrow morning. And we're going to buy it when it comes in on the low. And I hope you were watching it with me because I told you we were going to do that, everybody. All right? So there it was. It went all the way down to $29.50 in the pre-market, and we bought it. If you were there with me, I hope you did. Here's the PCE data, folks. This is the inflation data. It says, and this is a little confusing because here they say key inflation measure rose 0 0.4 in January as expected up 2.8 from a year ago, okay? But then you get down here and it says headline PCE, including the volatile food and energy categories, increased and it says 0 0.3 monthly and 2.4 on a 12-month basis. So I'm not sure which one's right, but the estimates were for this number compared to respective estimates of 0 0.3 to 2.4, all right? So they, they came in line with expectations, and that's very good. Stocks rise after key January inflation reading meets the forecast, all right? There's the news. This is helping everything rise. This is why the NASDAQ is now going to go to a new all-time high, in my opinion. I could be wrong, but I don't think so. You can see the Dow is now shot back up over 39,000. Look at the NASDAQ up 133. And what did I tell you guys yesterday? Don't be surprised to see them go to new all-time highs. That's what I said. And look at the volume right now already on SoFi at 5 million shares in freaking 10 minutes, people. We're going to have another 40 million plus day today. And every time we have 40 million or more, we're looking good, people. I want you to take a look at the historical data and see what yesterday's low was. All right? See what yesterday's low was, 883. See the day before that, the low was 870. The day before that, the low was 816. The day before that, the low was 811. All right? 
Eight days before that, the low was 778. This is beautiful, folks. This is just what we want to see happening. We got 68 people here on the channel. I would be very grateful if you would please hit the like button. Hit the like button, everybody. Hit the like button. Oh, we got to get this screen back up to where it's supposed to be. I got the wrong screen here. Display is what I need. And I don't know what's happening with this channel right now. The channel is just spinning away over here. Maria Pyle says, hello, DD. J-Rod, LOL, Danny, yes, muscles. That CLSP dip is paying me again. What is happening with this stupid feed? Got to upgrade and re refresh the screen right now. I'm sorry, folks. Just hold on a minute here. Emilio Gaguar, ah. Muchas gracias, Emilio. Por ustedes aquí como esta mañana. Ah, esto un buen día hoy. And look at the shorts attack now at 9.42. They decide to add to the volume. That's all they're doing here, folks, is adding to the volume. They're just increasing the volume level. They're trying to run the price down because they they screwed up, folks. They screwed up on February the 13th. All right, I just refreshed the screen here right now for my feed, and it's saying that this page is slowing down Firefox. To speed up your browser, stop this page. Well, I'm sure I'm not going to do that. But I want you to see some other things that are moving today. Uh, we have our eyes on these other stocks today That besides just us. BITF, you can see it is at 316 now, 326.50 they're showing. And I am very happy to say it's another buying spot for BITF right here. As what someone asked me this morning, I say right now, come on in right here. 326.99, folks. 318 even. Get it right here. Get it right here. 318.04. If you don't, I will. I'll do it for you. They're going to try to get it to 313, everybody. So just, just go ahead and put 314 in there. That's what they're going to go for. That's where I'm going right now. I will take it, positions, B-I-T-F, add, I'm just going to buy 100 right here, review order and place it, I'm in, I don't care, it's close enough to 313 for me to just go ahead and take it, 100 shares for me, 314.01, thank you shorty, 314.01 B-I-T-F. That average is down for me because I bought it 316.01 yesterday. There's 313, folks, right there. There's the number they're shooting for. There's the number they were shooting for right there, folks. I told you to put your orders in there. <sighs> Emilio says I speak more Spanish than he does. Emilio did I can yo hablar muy más español que él. Es no posible. Ustedes como nombre como Emilio es imposible yo pueda hablar muy fuerte con ustedes. Yo pienso. Me yo no sé. Pero yo no sé. Yo no sé. Certamente rejo. Look at this thing, folks. There it is. You should have bought it with me. BITF at 314 was a winner. You couldn't go wrong. Touching. All right. Nice. Let's pick up another 100 shares right there to add to my BITF collection. Meanwhile, I get over to Bitcoin. What the heck's it doing? It's just going up and up and up, folks. It's freaking just going up and up and up. Up and up and up. We're looking at the one hour right now. Why would, why would Bitcoin BITF a Bitcoin processor, 
Well, it's the same level where it already rejected three times. So it's going to reject here again and go north. Trust me. I could be wrong, but I don't think so. Already rejected here at that low and a higher low there. And here's the same low as there. And it's going to reject again. It's just manipulation. By the way, now you can see SoFi at $9 a share. And I don't give a dang. I'm happy to see it green. And it's going to continue to be green no matter how hard these slimy bastards try to run it down today. All right. I want to thank you all for being here with me and enjoying our profits. That's what we're doing. And I want you to know, I was talking about Citibank, and uh, there are two possible banks. Now, let me explain this. I've deviated from this twice, but I'm ready to buy again here right now. Hold on. Let me get in here at 897 right now. Let me get in on SoFi here. Let me get in. Add to position. I'll pick up 50 shares here. 50. And I got a limit order of 901. Let's just leave, let's just do a market share buy. Market, view order, and place it. We're in. We're in right now, folks. And I'm happy to say that I was able to just acquire this at $9 a share. Thank you very much. SoFi at nine. I'm glad because yesterday I bought this at $8.74 in the after hours. 50 at $9. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Thank you very much, Shorts, whoever was just able to accomplish that. That's a big gain for you. Oh, no, it's not. It's a loss. You're losing money. Everybody that's here, I want you to know something. There's been big news came out that was announced by Chris LaPointe, the CFO of SoFi, in this last fireside chat meeting. And the big news that came out was that SoFi has now signed a deal with their Galileo company with a major bank, one of the top five banks, okay? Now, I see right here again uh, that we have, oh, TCNNF, okay. Thank you for letting me know that. Let me get a look at TCNNF, everybody. Somebody just notified me. TCNNF. Ah, nice, nice, nice. Awesome. Very good. Very, very good. I told you it was time to pick up some more of that when they ran it down. I told you they it was a good buy that we made on that one. That was a good buy. Very good. Very good indeed. Let's take a look at some other ones here that we have on the list that we're watching very closely. One of them is BKSY, and I want to see how it's doing today. Ah, very good. It's green. That's all I care about. 10X. What are we? Oh, look at 10X, everybody. Nice. On the run. S-T-E-M. Oh, my gosh, everyone. Look at that thing. Oh, yeah. Ho, ho, ho. Awesome. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. S-T-E-M. Look at this one, folks. $2 on L-A-E-S. It was at two oh nine in the pre-market. They're running it down like they're trying to do SoFi right now. It's not going to be any success for them. No way. No way, folks. You can forget about this. I'm going in here again right now at eight ninety eight. dollars SoFi. Add. I'm just going to do market share, review order, and place it. I'm doing 50 shares at a time here now. 50 shares at a time, market share orders. And be honest with you, I'd love to see this thing fill right now at 901 again. There it is. 901, I'll take it. 901, 50 shares. So now I got 50 at 9 and 50 at 901. And I love being able to support this stock here and keep the shorts from running it down below $9. And I'm not the only one buying here, people. I can assure you of that. Anything under 10 is free, LOL. Yep, cheap. Thank you, J-Rod, for letting me know about TCNNF. I appreciate that. And by the way, take a look at this ACMR. 
I told you guys yesterday, it was brought to our attention. The stock was up 40%. I said, wait for the morning pull down. It will come at 950. Well, look what time it was right here. <laughs> All right, you could have got in right there. But by the way, this is what you don't know. Is if you had got up with me early this morning, you could have bought this stock at twenty nine fifty a share, which I did. Twenty nine fifty a share in the pre market. So there's another winner that I told you guys about that we watched very closely, and we'd see for the pullback in the morning. So that's what I was watching this morning, and I thought, man, this thing looks good. It looks good. I was watching it. It was up in 29.88, 29.90, and then they dropped it down to 29.80s and 29.70s, 29.60s. And at 29.50, I decided to pull the trigger. And then I bought some at 29.50. It filled. I got a small order of 100 shares there. And then I waited, and it started to make it back up. And at 29.54, I went ahead and decided, okay, it's going on up. So I went ahead and bought another. And then when it got to 29.56, I bought another because it broke the 55. And then the last one I bought was at 29.67 because once it broke the 66, I figured, well, it'll go up to 88 at least. Well, geez, it went past way past 29.88. And I'm very happy to say that. And I'm very happy that you were with me if you did do what I did this morning. I told you it was going to happen. They'd run it down in the market or in the market in the morning, and they did. By the way, in case you didn't know this, here's the PCE data. Inflation measure rose 0.4% in January as expected, up 2.8 from a year ago as expected. Says here, headline, including the volatile food and energy quarter, increased, it says headline PCE increased 0.3% monthly and 2.4 on a 12-month basis. What is this up here? What is this saying 0 0.4 and 2.8? What is this? What is going on here, CNBC? Which one of these numbers am I supposed to friggin' believe? Okay? Why don't you just pick a number and stick with it, okay? Is there a difference between PCE and headline PCE? Is there some sort of difference there? It says the moves came amid an unexpected jump in personal income, which rose 1%, well above the forecast of 0 0.3. There you go, folks. That's the data that's driving the market up, up, up. And look at that. Bought just now at 9 and 9.01. And now look at it rise. Beautiful, folks. We're going to break 920 today. We're going over 920. What's the volume level now? Volume 7 million shares almost in freaking just 30 minutes, people. They're going. We're going to go berserkly higher here, folks. This looks very good for us. I'm very encouraged by what I'm seeing. Now, for the fifth time, I'm going to try to go further on this bank, top 10 bank that we've uh, gotten signed a deal with. In the top five banks, you've got J.P. Morgan. And I'm going to show you this here. Let me so you can make, make this a little bit under, more understandable uh, so uh, we don't confuse anyone, okay? Google. Top. Uh, top. Oh, my gosh, Catfish. Top five banks in Value. Let's just put that, I guess, uh, in the U.S. There we go. Top five banks in the U.S. So of these top five banks, folks, that you have, there is, and this isn't in order, so I don't know why they would even do this right here. This is definitely not in order. Largest banks in the U.S. Here they are right here. So we know from the announcement from Chris LaPointe that SoFi just did an announcement that they just made on this fireside chat that they've, done, they've signed a deal with one of the top five banks, okay? Well, here are the largest banks. J.P. Morgan, Bank of America, Wells Fargo, Citibank, and U.S. Bank. And I was listening to Tevis from Trading Fundamentals. He's at the group of that. He has his own channel as well. 
independently of that group. And I think it's a better channel because he doesn't put the Frady Cat face on like we see from Tanner all the time. So here's the point that he made that I think makes very good sense, folks. Of these top five banks, you can only presume that if they said they signed a deal with one of the top five banks, it's either Citibank or U.S. Bank. Now, why would you say that? Well, as he says, and this makes sense, if it was one of the top three banks, wouldn't he say one of the top three banks? <laughs> of course he would. So if he's saying it's in the top five, it's because it's in the top five, all likelihood, just logically speaking. If it were the top three banks, he would have said, we're one of the top three. We're dealing did a deal with one of the top three. Well, Here's the deal. <clears throat> there are some other reasons to believe that this has occurred. And according to Tevis, and I'm going to show you right now, here is the reasons that they believe it is this bank. The tech platform, it says on the tech platform, DNS records named City as the proof of concept client starting in late 2022, folks and early 2023. The records literally include POC and Citibank. All right? I think Tanner is the YT finance guy. <clears throat> they sound just about identical. Ha <laughs> ha. Any thoughts on that? <laughs> yeah, I think so. YouTube finance guy. Yep. Escola, do you want, Escola, do you want, talk about Fisker. It's a, Gonna explode today, man. Okay. Mickey Mickey uh Mickey Maki Scallop says BITF is down. BITF is up huge from where I bought it a month ago. Massively. It's I've doubled my money on it, so I'm not worried. And I sold it at 398 a share yesterday and just bought bought back a few hundred already since I sold it 75% of the position. So I have no concerns, but I thank you for letting me know. But BITF, oh, look at it falling. Why? What's Bitcoin doing? Oh, look at that. Up 3.5% and BITF down 3.5%. Oh, what a surprise. Thanks for letting me know because I might decide to buy some more of it here in a minute. But I want you to know, folks, the reason I'm telling you about this deal is this is a very big deal. This is a very big bank. All right. And Citibank, folks, there's some other reasons to be excited about the choice being that it is Citibank. All right. So it says, City POC has seemingly been in the works since late 2022. This is also around the time that SoFi management began teasing the test and commentary. The proof of concept keyword came after the initial investor tease. We've heard both top 10 and top 5 used to reference POCs with the tech platform. It's less clear if these both refer to City or if it is City and a second major firm. All right? So that's one of the things I want to share with you, okay, about this. And another thing I want to share with you about this is that this information, City Bank, unlike USB, which is the number five bank, City Bank, which is number four, and USB, Citibank, the biggest difference between these two banks and the reason it would behoove us even more and be better for SoFi, for Citibank to be the one that they've signed up with, is because Citibank has is a global bank. And right now, folks, as we speak, Galileo has 145 million accounts as of quarter four. But if they signed with Citi, City has global 200 million accounts. So if they did sign this uh, and they've got this deal going with, with um, City, folks, that is huge because we'll over double the amount of accounts that we've got. And we're talking major revenue here. We're talking billions and billions of possible dollars coming in with this, with this uh, Galileo. You need to understand this. This will all come to the bottom line, all right? They've already bought the company. There's no expenses. They just got, they're just going to keep selling this out to more and more banks. 
and they have many, many, many banks with RFPs, which is Request for Proposal. They've already said they have many major banks coming to SoFi with RFPs. They've got them running out their ears. They've got to do proposals for all these other banks as well who want to come in on this on this deal. You don't understand the depth of this, folks. You just you have to really get your head wrapped around this. What's going on with Galileo and Technicus? You have to understand it, folks. U.S. Bank also has connections and may be another one because Derek White. That's right, Derek White, the Galileo CEO, was also at one time U.S. Bank's chief digital officer. So not only do we have Citibank being said by the, the, the information I just gave you as being the top five bank that they just did the deal with, but we've got connections. So SoFi has connections. The Galileo company has connections with USB, okay? US Bank. And US Bank has on their website, there's an update coming soon. And US Bank has on their website and a notification that says online banking will soon be the same on every device. And the way they're doing that, I believe, is through SoFi, through Galileo. So I think we have two of the top five banks, actually, not just one. Uh, do I follow Fisker? No, I do not, but I will hap happily take a look at it right now very briefly. So uh, there you go. Uh, RBT, I'm just curious. I'm going to look at this one while I go to Fisker. Horrible. Okay, here we go. Fisker. Let's go look at Fisker. FSR. Ticker symbol. Uh, I don't do a lot with penny stocks only because I know every once in a while they want to try to get their price back up over a dollar and they'll do a reverse split to do it and it sucks. So I'm not real fond of these. I have gotten majorly burned by these companies. And also when they get to a 52 week high and they're 98 cents, you know, then they'll just say, all right, we're going to do a share offering. And they just, you know, <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, let's look at the six month chart on it. Oh God. <sighs> that <laughs> doesn't look that great to me. Okay. Uh, we need to see some movement with money. Oh my God. No, 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 no. Folks, when you see a company with earnings losing 0.88 million, 10.88 million, then the next year lose 130 million, and the next year lose 471 million, and the next year lose 570, 547 million, and you see them missing the street, missing hey, the street, barely beating and missing. Huh? Our neighbor is coming over, so please keep it down. All right, sure. Folks, I want you to know, don't, don't. Just don't risk this. This this is just doesn't look good. Okay. I don't even know what this company does. Electric vehicle. Oh God, no. Uh uh. No, no, no. I'm not on a, in, in electric uh not not Fisker. Heirloom Cedar says cheap LFG. Anything under 10 is free. BITF, Mickey Scott's BITF is down. Talk about Fisker, F-I-S-K-E-R. Isn't that what I just looked at? Fisker, F-I-S-K-E-R. That's it. No, I don't like it. No. For, for the, the reasons I just told you. One, they could do a reverse split to get their price back over a dollar and be NASDAQ compliant. Number two, they will get this price to run up. And then they will do a sh public share offering to keep their doors open. Uh, they're an electric car manufacturer. All electric car manufacturers are scaling back, cutting back, dropping lines. They are, Toyota's almost completely out. They said their new gasoline engine's going to blow away uh, these electric cars. 
Toyota is moving away from electric cars. Other companies, GM, Ford cannot sell their trucks, their electric trucks. Somebody said they can't sell them because they can't make them fast enough. Bull crap. I don't buy that. I've seen many, 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 many reports on YouTube about these, these trucks having major problems. And one of the biggest ones is they're killing people all over the U.S. They're killing people because they weigh so much with these batteries that they weigh double, even sometimes as much as almost three times as much as a normal truck does. And when they hit a car that normally just injures people, they're killing people because they're literally virtually tanks driving down the road. I'm just letting you know this. Many people aren't aware that about this aspect of the electric vehicle industry. We already know about several of them catching on fire, just bl blowing up. There was one accident where someone slid off the road, hit a tree, uh, hit a, a telephone pole, a metal telephone pole, and the car disintegrated. It just absolutely obliterated it. Like I've never seen before. It looked like it went off with a freaking, uh, I don't know what kind of bomb. <laughs> No, I'm going to stay away from that one. Sorry. Bye-bye. We're done with that one. Let's get that off the screen. I do not I do not like anything. I don't like any aspects of it. I don't like their not beating the street. I do not like them losing so much money. And I don't care what these strong buy-buys and holds are saying. I'm not going to touch that with a 10-foot pole. All right? I'm, a, I'm done. All right. But thanks for bringing it up. I would rather buy a chart that has a, uh, a stock that has a chart that looks like this. Okay, over the last six months, okay, over the last year. This is the chart. This is the stock I want to buy, all right? And that's why I'm on this channel. Look at the 10-day moving average just lurching up. Look at the degree and pitch degree change to a high angle going up here as it crosses the 45 and 50-day moving average. And I got news for you, folks. This baby's on a run, and it's just begun. 905 now after we just bought it at nine dollars again and 901 gorgeous gorgeous hey uh escola do you want to talk about fisker it's gonna explode today i mean man okay i just talked about fisker escola i don't agree and even if it does today, it will be back down. There's not, I just don't see the support. I don't see the revenue. I don't see earnings. I don't see it. I just don't see it. If I miss it, I miss it. But I'm not going to take a chance on that. I don't like the looks of those charts I just looked at at all. I don't like them at all, okay? That doesn't look anything like the chart that we're looking at on SoFi. It looks the opposite. All right. It, it, it ain't easy, PNG. Kraken Robotics, take a look. Very promising. Okay. Anthony Walker, well, those finance tool, uh, finance, well, those finance looks like BitFarm finances, LOL. <laughs> Sergio, except Tesla. Sergio, that is nonsense. I don't know what you're saying. I don't know what you, you can be entitled to your own opinion for sure. Whatever the nonsense is you're talking about. Piling in on BTF, BITF, been waiting for this buying opportunity. Good, Danny Dimes. Let me take a look at how low it is. Oh, look at that as they manipulate down. What's Bitcoin doing now? It's rising. <laughs> it's rising. Yeah, yeah, folks. This is the time to get some more BITF right now. Come on in. The water's fine. Put in your buy order right now at $2.89 on BITF with me, please. $2.89. Put it in at 290 as well. BITF, add to position right now. I'm going to go ahead and pick up 100 shares here. Just I'm just going to do a market buy because I don't think it's going to get to 288, but they're going to try. We're going to do it right now. Place order. Let's see what we can pick it up here for. Fill me order. It's going to fill at 289, folks. Come on. No, it didn't. I filled it 289.5. 289.5. And there it is right there, folks. 289.5. And there's 289.05 now. BITF 289.5. Thank you very much. 100 shares. I love you very much. Let's do it again. Add, review order, and place it. We're just doing we're just doing share uh, buy here's market share buys. Show me what I got. 
Oh my gosh, look at that, folks. 288.99. 288.99. Thank you. 288.99. 288.99. That's killer. I got it in the 288s, that's for sure. It wasn't much, but it was close enough. Let's do it again. Review order and place it. We're going in here. 100 shares at a time. Come on, baby. Phil, 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 Phil rocks down here. <clears throat> 29026. 29026. Two nine oh two six. Two eighty eight ninety nine. Two eighty nine five. Two ninety twenty six. Well, it's rising, folks. Here we go. Going in again. Review order and place it right now. And by the way, uh, what it, I would suggest for you, uh, I believe it was uh, in Clark. Take the money right now in Clark that you sold. And it's cleared now from your SoFi sell at the high and buy this right now, BITF right here, please. All right, that's my suggestion. Take that money and buy BITF right here at 289.5. You'll be a very happy camper six months from now. All right, that's what I suggest, N. Clark, if you're here listening right now. Come in with me at this at 289 right now. I'm going to buy more. Review order and place it. I'm doing another 100 here. I got a lot of money sitting here, folks, from the sales of this sofa at these higher numbers. <clears throat> I'm telling you, man, pick it up right now with me and Danny Dimes. <laughs> hey, Sergio, <laughs> you can pitch EVs all you want. I'm telling you, they're going. You go buy one, too, if you live out in California and see if you have any luck charging it this summer when they have all those brownouts. You go ahead and get yourself one, but you better not live in Chicago, Illinois, where you couldn't have, you had a five-day wait to get to a charging station that worked. So you can go EV all you want to, but I'm not going to touch the damn thing. Not going to touch it. Let, see how this is hanging so long right here at this number? Because they're accumulating it here right now, just like I'm doing it right now. BITF. Review order and place it. <clears throat> they're just accumulating it here, folks. 289. Nice. BITF. 289. Oh, I'm picking up some big shares here, too. I'm doing 100 at a time, folks. I'm not messing around with this. And now I'm going to put a limit order in at 288. 2.88. Review order and place it. Yeah, it's not going to fill, but I'm going to put it there anyway, just in case. <sighs> I want to thank all of you for being here with me. There's absolutely no doubt about it that there's a reason that this price is at 289 now because Bitcoin, folks, is still up 2.9% for the day for the last 24 hours. There's no reason at all other than manipulation for BITF to be falling here. And uh, look, the same thing could be said for SoFi. Uh, you might as well go ahead and pick up some shares right here as well. There's no legitimate reason for it falling. All we're seeing is manipulation here. So this would be a very, very good point to put in a buy order on SoFi too, which I'm about to do right now, SoFi. I already bought it last night at $8.74 and 875, 876. Add to position. Here we go. And let's buy it right here. Review order and place it. <clears throat> Looking to pick up another 100 shares right here at this low number. Oh, man, I thought I would get that before 894. I did not. I got 895. Wow. 
100 at 895. And look at it rise. Let's keep going, folks. Let's do it again. Let's buy more. Let's just do 50 at a time here. 50 this time. Review order and place it. Come on, baby. Let me just pick it up. I'm doing market share orders here. I don't care. 897. Good. Thank you very much. I appreciate whoever gave me that at 897. 50 share order there. This is beautiful, folks. I want to thank you for being here with me. We got 68 people. I've got 36 likes. I want you to know now I will hit the heart on button. If you will please hit the like button now. You will get a heart on from me. All right. Except Tesla. That is nonsense. Piling on in on BTF. Been waiting for this big buying opportunity. Sergio EVs are by far a really long way less likely to catch fire than a gas vehicle. Don't give a damn. EVs are killing people on the highways every single day. Trucks are killing people in mass numbers that they would normally have just injured. This is an absolute fact. And if you don't want to listen to what I'm telling you, that's okay. It's your choice. If you don't want to listen to what I told you just now about what happened all in the north during the winter, we had a mild winter this year comparative to last and they still had all kinds of troubles with EV vehicles, including how long it takes to charge one of the son of a bitches after you've had it in the cold temperatures below 32 degrees. Yeah, I'm telling you. Thank you very much. There's a hard on for you. And there's a hard on for you. And I got a hard on for you. There's three of them. And there's another one, a hard on for you. Thank you very much. For being here with me and buying SoFi at the low today, uh, at least at today's low. Now, I want you to see something, folks. Yesterday's low on SoFi, what was that number? 883. <laughs> 883 was the low yesterday. What was the low the day before that? 870. What was the low the day before that? 816. What was the low before the day that? 811. Are you getting the picture here, people? What was the volume when the low was 811? 26 million. What was it the next day when the low was 816? 46 million. What was what was the low the next day when the volume was uh, the number was 870 for the low? 66 million. 20, 40, 60. Okay. The next day the low went from 870 to 883. All right, 883 now to 891, folks. Every day's low, higher and higher and higher. And how about that buy we just made there at that low right there today? Beautiful, folks. Thank you for being here with me to buy at the lows and sell at the highs every freaking day. That's what we do. You know, folks, we sold this stock twice now at 913 and have bought down in the 880s. And now it's back up to, I told you guys yesterday, every time I bought this stock at $8.88, I've made money. Every single time I bought this stock at $7.88, I've made big money. Every time I bought this stock at $7.88, I've sold it over $10. Six times in the last year. Bought it in the sevens and sold it over 10. Bought it in the sixes and sold it over 10. Bought it in the fives and sold it over 10. Bought it in the fours and sold it over 10. How many times do you have to see this thing get driven down and then back over 10 to understand this is the game that they're playing over and over and over and they're making a fortune and you might as well do it too. Now I want you all to know I am not a financial advisor, okay? I just happen to be someone who's been trading in the stock market for 25 years. And I started from the day one when I won a bunch of money on the Wheel of Fortune. I was on there in 1999. If you want to see how I did, go to Google, type Wheel of Fortune, put Tyler, Amy, Joy, and scroll down halfway on that first page. You'll see Daily Motion. And under Daily Motion Video Posting, which has Vanna holding a couple of bags of money, you'll click on that and see me kick butt on Wheel of Fortune. 
And then when I won all that money, I decided to start investing it. <clears throat> Out in Southern Cal, okay. I have, <laughs> Vagabond Jones says, I have a heart on for SoFi. YZ here, GCT, another run up from the window I told you about two days ago today. $3 up, beautiful, 9%, nice. I, I knew it, man, of that that day that somebody contacted me and said, what's going on with GCT? I said, buy it now. It's being manipulated. There's no news. It had dropped $12 on no news whatsoever. And when you see that kind of manipulation, folks, that was 30% drop on no news at all. That is manipulation 101. And that's why I told you then to buy it again, GTC. That Here it is right here. You can see it. GCT. Look at that manipulation, folks. On February the 17th, bam, all the way down here to $24. And now look at it back up to 36 bucks. Dang, we called that one perfectly, folks. Called it perfectly. Just like we called this one perfectly this morning, too, by the way. Buying it this morning at $29.50 in the pre-market. I told you they'd take it down in the pre-market or the early market. It was up 40% yesterday, and I said, look for the pullback in the pre-market or tomorrow in the regular market. They're going to pull it back down. They're going to shake out the tree, and they did it in the pre-market. They ran it down to $29.50 where I bought it. Now we see SoFi breaking back up over $9 after just buying it at $8.94, $8.95, $8.96. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I'm in love with this stock, folks, and there's a reason why. Because every single day, you can make a lot of money day trading this stock every day. And uh, look at the volume now, folks. In less than an hour, we're at 10 million. This will be another 40 million plus day. Where you say I can see you play on the Wheel of Fortune? I'll show you. Here it is. Google. Uh-oh. There it is. Google.com. Wheel of Fortune. Tyler, uh -uh. Tyler, Amy, Joy. Do a search like that. Scroll right down here. And you'll find a video image right there. There she is holding $25,000 daily motion. That's the video right there. There's a short video of a one minute clip there that you can see on YouTube, but this is actually the one that shows the entire show and you'll see how I did. This one just shows the highlights, but this one here shows the entire show. There's, there's only one reason why Bitcoin miners are going down and that's because they want to buy into them. Those that are missing out on this run want them and they want to buy into them. Yeah, we just bought this at the low of the day. Congratulations, everyone. Good job. We just bought SoFi at the low of the day, so congratulations on that, everyone. That was easy. Now, there's a lot of people on this channel right now. We have 68 folks on this channel. I want to thank you all for hitting that like button because, as I said, we're now seeing over 700,000 people in the last three months come to my channel because of you guys hitting the like button. And the more that we get over here, the more we'll be convinced that this is a stock to buy because of the information I'm providing. The top five banks, the one of the top five banks that's using Galileo right now, we have a confirmation, a virtual confirmation, although not announced by the company, that that bank is Citibank. It is Citibank, okay? And Citibank is a global bank with over 200 million accounts. And folks, I want you to know that the reason that I'm saying it is Citibank is the one that they chose is because it says, and this was posted by Bender 9000. Uh, Bender 9000 has been very, very reliable source of very, very good information about this company. And he says, yes, three hours ago, and this was last night, Tech platform DNS records named City as the proof of concept client. 
starting in late 2022 and early 2023. The, le- the records literally include POC and Citibank. That is a city POC has seemingly been in the works since late 2022. This is also around the time that SoFi management began teasing the test in commentary. The POC or proof of concept keyword came after the initial investor tease. We've heard both top 10 and top five used to reference POCs with the tech platform. It's less clear if these both refer to Citi or if it is Citi and a second major firm. All right. So, folks, it looks as though Citi is the one, and that would be better than USB, which is the number five rated bank, because Citi has 200 million global customers. They're a global entity worldwide. All right. So, this is better for it to be Citi than USB. All right. Now we're going to get back over here. Ah, uh, still up 4% from where I got it. Nice. And even more. Uh, I want you to be aware that institutional ownership has dropped to 790 from 796. And some might be alarmed by that, but don't be because here's what's happening, in my opinion. Many of these long institutions have come in with long positions, but they have shorted positions. They're ETFs. See, this is the thing about ETFs. They're hedge funds. These hedge funds have long positions on SoFi, but they also have short positions. They're they're hedge funds. And there are a lot of hedge funds involved with with uh, that have stock in, in SoFi. But here's what you got to understand. When a hedge fund starts losing money on a shorter position of another stock, they need money to cover. So they have to sell one of their long positions that they've been making money in. And that would include this one. <laughs> so to see institutions selling out means they're covering shorted positions that they're losing money on. That is my personal belief. I'm seeing too much gain in institutional percentage We were at 38.6, now we're at 39.76, and we're going to go over 40, even though the institutional ownership has dropped now from 796 to 795 to 790. My belief is this is institutions who had long positions, long only, but they short other stocks and they're losing on those and they needed money to cover the shorted positions, the losses. That's what I think, all right? <clears throat> I could be wrong, but I don't think so. And there's nine dollars again. Nice effort by the shorts this morning to give us a buying opportunity. Very nice indeed. Thank you. If you bought with me just then, you just watched me buy it. And I filled on SoFi at just now. I, I filled it a hundred at eight ninety-five, fifty at eight ninety-seven. I'll take it. Thank you very much. Price now, 901. No, I didn't need to go go in real, real heavy yet. I still wanted to make sure we don't see a low or lunchtime low. So I'm going to hold back for just a little bit, be a little reserved. But I don't mind buying it. 150 shares at 4 cents less than it is, 5 cents less than it is now. And you guys can do it too. And by by the way, uh, I want you to be very aware that BI Bitcoin itself has now turned off the bottom and is running back up. You can clearly see that if you hit the one hour that Bitcoin is continuing its climb. All right. Do not be confused and be alarmed. Look at it now. It just came all the way back up here to 64037 has been the high. 63258 now. And we are going to see it keep climbing, folks. Look at that thing. The one hour chart right there. It is rising, folks. So a good buy there that we had an opportunity. They drove down BITF. Congratulations if you bought some with me and with my buddy, Danny Dimes. We were looking for this opportunity to come in. And there it is right now. 
Take a look at some other stocks we got on the radar right now. Look at CLSK was up in the pre-market 6.75%, now down during the day at 9.62% down. What manipulation, people. God almighty, totally manipulated. Oh my gosh, look at that. Down now 10%. Oh, I'm watching it all right. This is one Danny Dimes has told us about. And look at that. They're trying a double head fake. They're trying to try right here what I call the double dagger. Let's see what happens, though. Watching it because I might buy some more of it. And we're going over here to GTC. Oh, man. God, CCT. I mean, look at this thing, people. I told you they were all that day that they ran it down. They just wanted in and they're going to drive it higher. GCT is exploding, folks. It's back to that same pattern that it was on when I looked at the six-month chart. I showed everybody to buy this stock when it was back here in November. Look at the price. It's gone from $11 all the way to 36 bucks. Dang, people. That's how you make money. Let's see here. YZ, GCT, another run-up from the window I told you about two days ago to today. Yep. It ain't easy. PNG, Kraken Robotics, ATH right now, but definitely a buy on the dips. Check it out. All right. PNG. PNG. Let's go look at PNG. Let's get rid of this Beyond Meat. PNG. Beyond Meat is back up, though. I don't know why. PNG. All right. I did a search on this. <clears throat> There it is, 101. Oh, boy. Don't buy it here, folks. Please don't. Don't buy it at 101. That's a very bad, 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 bad thing to do. Okay? Don't do it. Volume is ridiculously low on this. Kraken Robotics, Mine Hunting Systems, operational with the Royal Danish Navy. Uh, I'm looking at these charts. <coughs> I like their revenue and their earnings has been negative, negative, negative. So that's not too cool, but they have no recommendations. They have no analysts covering this stock at all. Don't buy it at 101, people. Trust me, that's not a good idea. If it gets to 104 and goes on past 108, then maybe, but not here. Not my suggestion. As we look at SoFi now breaking back over nine on its way to a new high today. Soon enough this afternoon, 11 million shares traded in one hour. We're going over 40 million today for sure. I would presume, having seen that number right there already. I am looking very, very closely at many other stocks across the board, including this one here I bought this morning at 29.50. We're keeping an eye on that one right there to see what it does. And we'll set it way over here on the far right at the end of the scale. Right there, we'll put it right there next to TR True Leaf. By the way, take a look at TC and an F up seven percent. This was a, a double K call. My friend Carl down in Florida told us about this, and it was a great buy when he told us about it. We bought it in the nines, it went up to the elevens, and then we sold it, and then it dropped back down, and we bought it again, and now it's at ten fifty one. It's great. BKSY being hammered down right now this morning. 10x. Look at 10x, folks. 420 a share. Nice. You know we bought that back down below four again. Very good buy there. Thank you, Katie. I think you bought some of that 10x. Ah, uh, Vagabond Joe's live in Minnesota and an electric car charge doesn't go very far in 20 degrees or less temperature. Oh, I know it. Danny Dimes, I heard you in cold weather places, but the amount of gas I've seen Tesla drivers save, a lot of people want that, at least for my uh, pops. He has unlimited supercharging, okay? Danny Dimes out in Southern California, yes. Yep. I think EVs will be the future. It's still a new invention. These things will become a good for everyone. All right. Y'all can keep believing that. Buy all the EV stocks you want. Go out and buy Mullen, go out and buy Workhorse, go out and buy uh, Rivian. You can go out and buy uh, Tesla, you can go out and buy any stocks you want, go buy them.
my buy, my buy would be instead plug power right here P L U G hydrogen folks plug power the reason I don't suggest the only reason I would not buy this stock today folks is because of the owner the CEO of this company he's just a dry stick in the mud he doesn't know how to project you know he's nothing like me <clears throat> I throw out energy and positiveness and all this stuff this guy so we're expecting to be even dead positive and we really think that we could do this and achieve this goal within you know he's just a slug man this guy but folks on the summary page here for this one with PLUG up this much, 289 viewing this channel right now, 289 viewing this channel, and look at this thing, it's even been run down because it was already at 382, there's another thing, it has trouble sustaining and holding its gains, two days ago, plug power, Q4 earnings, preview, what you should know, but I want you to look at this, <clears throat> Plug power. Uh, hold on a second here. Here's some other companies you can buy into. F Cell, BLNK, Blink, Neo. You can buy that. F Cell, all those companies. Buy them QS. Look at this company. Missed expectations. Missed expectations. Miss, missed, 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 missed. Earnings dropping, 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 dropping. And the more I look at it, stay away from that one too. <laughs> Just don't buy plug either. All right, next, moving back over here. Let's get back over to SoFi and see where, how high it is now. Eight ninety nine, very nice. I like buying it at the lows and I like selling it at the highs. And here again, we saw it at eight ninety nine, nine dollars after they just drove it down. Nice try there, man. But unfortunately, that low right there of eight ninety one is not good for them because yesterday's low was eight eighty three. The day before that, the low was 870. The day before that, it was 54 cents lower at 816. And the day before that, it was even lower. And two days before that, it was even lower. <laughs> and on February 13th, it was at $7.78. And beyond that, it was at 745. And so, folks, all of these shorted positions, and I want you to know that these are the highs in this column over here, right here. And I guarantee you, at every single one of these highs, the stock was shorted. So they shorted it at 776. They shorted it at 788. They shorted it at 783. They shorted it at 814. They shorted it at 835. They shorted it again at 850. I guarantee you, at every one of these highs, someone took a shorted position that they still haven't gotten out of. They shorted it at 820. They shorted it at 843. They shorted SoFi at 855. Every one of these highs, they shorted it. 858. 852, they shorted it. 835, they shorted it. Even in the next day. 837, they shorted it. 869, they shorted it. At every high, folks, they've shorted it. I promise you. Uh, uranium stocks have not done well. Lithium has not done well. Uranium stocks have not done. I know there's a big demand for it because of all the nuclear power that we're going to have to convert over to if we're going to get rid of all the gas and coal. <laughs> By the way, while we're shutting down coal factories one after the other, they are opening them up one after the other in China. They are massively increasing coal production in China, and they are ag adding more and more coal-powered uh, facilities every single day. They're adding two a month is what I've been seeing recently in China. Why? Because Biden says he's going to shut down the coal industry in the United States. He doesn't realize you can't make steel without coal. Apparently no one's uh, given him any information that you cannot melt metals with uh, put, uh, with a HP gas, okay? You can't do it. The temperature of that gas burning will not reach a high enough temperature to melt and make steel okay so i don't know what he get, comes off with this idea he's going to shut down all the coal factories and all the coal mines 
Because then how are we going to make steel in the United States? How would be a steel production company? What will happen to the big steel industries all over places like Pennsylvania, Reading, Pennsylvania? Uh, what will happen to all these cities that are relying on steel manufacturing for revenue and income and so forth? You're going to shut them all down because you're going to close all the coal factories down. He said, I'm going to. He leans in on the mic like he does with that wussy fied face of his and says, I'm going to close all the coal factories. I'm going to shut the pipeline down. I'm going to stop fossil fuels forever. Everyone's going to drive an electric car. I'm going to make them do it. We're going to get rid of gas stoves though in new york you can't buy any more gas stoves we're going to dereg we're going <laughs> to eliminate all gas stoves and this guy is just something else man ah <clears throat> nadia markey says thank you for all you do catfish i have learned so much from you all right denny dime city bank is mad corrupt left my ass a whole board is like former three-letter agencies <laughs> Yep, Danny Dimes 10, not saying they won't help SoFi, but definitely not a beat in banking. No, they are not. They are not the best in banking, that's for sure. Anthony Walker, people are talking about Jeff Bezos buying $9.5 billion worth of Bitcoins, Tyler. Whoa! Well, when will Warren Buffett step up? Oh, uh, yeah. When will Warren Beff Buffett step up to the plate? I can't get a dang chart to come up here on this damn page. Come on, man. Let's pull a Biden. Come on, man. <laughs> come on, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. Come on, man. Mr. Educated. He's outperformed everybody in college. Graduated at the top of his class. <laughs> Says he had a full grant, lied, didn't have a full grant, full scholarship, lied about that. Said he was in the top of his class, lied about that. Said he drove a truck, lied about that. Said he cares about the the uh, the border, the U.S. border, obviously lying about that. He doesn't give a damn about the U.S. border. He's just an outright li liar, folks, telling you he got out of a truck down by the Somewhere in Pennsylvania, going to go get a job offer, and he saw two guys kissing. Daddy says, oh, it's because they love each other. The guy was saying back here 15, 20 years ago, there should be no marriage by the government approved unless there's a man and a woman, period. It's ridiculous to think that men can marry men and women women. He's out there just shouting it out, standing on the podium, talking about it. it was ridiculous that men wanted to marry men, women, women. It would be never be recognized by the federal government, blah, blah, blah. Now listen to him. Old senile, moronic dipshit. Sorry, I'm talking about JB. And that's not Jimmy Buffett. All right, folks. Now, I don't want to get too much of a rant on uh, politics because I know I can lose some viewers that way. And I know that I can also get very quickly throttled down by YouTube when I start talking negatively about the social media or the the mega media king of all, JB, the mindless wonder, <clears throat> who often doesn't know where he is, what time of day it is, what country he's in, what year it is, doesn't know people who have died that he's trying to call out in the audience, doesn't know which way off the stage. There's a lot he does not know. <laughs> And he apparently does not know that you can't make steel without coal. Okay, I guess he just doesn't know this. Maybe someone just never told him. Because if they, if he did know this, I doubt he'd be out there on the podium announcing to everyone he's going to shut down all the coal factories. JN, you trust Trump? <laughs> yeah, you know what? Let me tell you why I trust him. Because when he tells a bank, listen, I need to borrow some money from you and I've got this property and it's worth this much money. So if you can loan me on it, then I'll pay you back. And then he does and they borrow him the money. They go out and they send out their appraisers. They look over the property and they say, yeah, it's worth that much. We'll loan it to you. And then he pays them back. 
he pays them back and, and all the interest and the, all of the debt is paid back and he pays it back in a timely fashion, often pays off his loans early. And when you got all of his counterparts and out there that are his naysayers saying Russian collusion, proven false. Laptops a lie, proven false. Yeah, I don't trust anything from the other side, folks. I got plenty of reasons to trust Donald Trump. When he says the media is fake, it is. It's fake media. The election, the last election being called at 11 o'clock because it was just too late when the, the election before between Donald Trump and uh, Hillary Clinton was not called until 2.30 in the morning. But it got too late that night when Donald Trump started running away with everything and he was ahead with 80% of the vote turned in in Philadelphia. And uh, then they said, oh, 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 let's get to bed. We'll, we'll look at, we'll find out who won in the morning. <laughs> I knew right then I told my wife, we're screwed. They're going to cheat him out of the election. And they were, and they did. January 6th, he stood out on the lawn and said, we need to respect our law officers. We need to go home. Just go home, people. We'll settle this out. Do not hurt the people in the law. We need to respect them. January 6th was all orchestrated by the federal government. He asked Pelosi, let me send over the National Guard. She said, no, no. We don't want any National Guard here. That would interfere with our plans to have an insurrection. Yeah, don't even get me going, JN. Don't even. It's all a big, fat, freaking lie. And it was proven by... Uh, Tucker Carlson, who showed everybody being escorted through the, the through the Capitol building, opened the door for this individual and that. They don't know who they are. They have total strangers. Come on, we'll show you the place. Come on. Oh, by, uh, by the way. Oh, yeah. By the way, you're all going to be charged with an insurrection. All of you people walking through here calmly and obeying the laws and not destroying anything. But let's let you destroy the town of Seattle and you can destroy and burn down buildings in Oregon. All that's fine. You can go in and destruct and destroy and we'll do it all in the name of love. Oh, man, don't even get me going. Sexual assault of who? That that four-eyed, stupid, ugly lady that he already told everybody doesn't even remember when it happened, where it happened. She said she had a dress on that she admitted as evidence, and that dress hadn't even been manufactured yet. When the, when the, she claimed that this occurred, this sexual assault, the dress that she brought into court for evidence was proven not to have even been manufactured as of that date yet. You guys, don't don't even get me started. All of it's all a bunch of lies. They've all been lying about Donald Trump. They hate him, and I'll tell you why. Because he's not part of their elitist group. He's not a, he's not a lifelong politician who, who lives on lying. See, Joe Biden has been living on lies for a long time. All right. He's still living on lies. He lies to us every single day when he makes claims that he used to be a truck driver, that he was raised by Hispanics, that he was raised by Latinos, that he was raised, that he, he lived and associates with all these people. He's an elitist, folks. He's he's warning us against global warming, but he lives in a house on the right on the ocean. Yep. He owns mega mansion right there on the ocean. Three feet above sea level. But he's worried about the sea levels rising. <clears throat> I, I hear you, Anthony Walker. Thank you for sharing that with me. Uh, was 10X really 4,800 not long ago? I have no way of knowing that. I believe it was because of share splits. I don't think it was ever that 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 much. I think they've been using, and uh, I, I could be wrong, but I do not believe that. Usually when you see astronomical, uh, astronomical numbers like that, it's because of reverse splits and reverse splits and reverse splits that have gone over, over time. So I don't believe that. But 10X is going to go back over $100 once they get this fi final approval on this drug, Levisidabin. They're going to get over 100 on that day. You just have to buy it now and sit on it and to keep it for a year. And in one year, you'll sell it for over $100. Put your sell orders in as soon as you buy it. Put them in at $49, $55, $66, $77, $88, $99.
and then you'll be selling all those positions when they make the announcement of the approval of this drug, which has already been approved and been in use in Europe for over 10 years. And they've already just a, received a patent on the drug as well. So now it can be used by other, they can license it out to other people who are using this levacidamidin in their concoctions to help people with different ailments. So folks, this is a big deal that this patent was just approved for 10X and just hold it for a long time. You'll see where it ends up. That's my call on it. I could be wrong, but I don't think so. Have you come out here for a little bit? Yep. Uh, <clears throat> JN, you're entitled to your own opinion and you're entitled to believe in that brainless twit. Okay. Red Squirrel, RBT is down. Yep, good time to buy more. I don't I don't think so. Uh I'm I'm staying away from that right now. JN sexual assault. He was the one that was sexually assaulted by that moron that got that huge, ridiculous millions of millions of dollars. He was the one that was assaulted. She made the claim and had no way to justify it or prove it at all. There was no way at all to justify her claim. She doesn't remember where she was. She doesn't remember when it was. She doesn't remember what day it was. She doesn't remember anything about it except that he supposedly stuck his finger in her stanky, ranky VJ. All right, I'll be back in a minute. And then she also said, rape is sexy. She told that to... Oh, it's so sexy. Rape is just so sexy. He says that. What did she say to that guy? What's that guy's name? That Democratic uh, page shill that's on there? Tucker. What's his name? Oh, you know, the gray-haired Fox guy that is such so full of crap on CNBC. I can't remember his name now. Anyway, let me get back to you in a minute, guys. I got to take a brief break here. My wife is calling upon me. I'm needed. And I go. I flee to her quickly.
Okay, everybody, just hang in here a minute more. Catfish will be back soon. I promise you, everybody, don't get too impatient.
Oh boy, ladies and gentlemen, we're back and we got a call from the Queen Cat coming in. Here's King Cat now. All right. Hello, beautiful. All right. Okay. Well, we'll keep storing it. Love you. Bye. All right, everybody. King Cat back here on the scene. Let's get back in the swing of things. What are we doing here? What's going on? Ah, uh, January 6th. Yeah. Everyone can have their own opinions about everything. Ah, I'm back in here. What do we got going on here? Uh, Prince Mo, LOL, but why would those people do it in the first place for Trump? Tyler has cracked it. Nobody sees else has figured it out. Anthony Walker, nobody did kept you going. You did it your, to yourself. Walker, <laughs> Anthony, LOL. All right. Nobody did uh, kept you going. You did it to yourself. Uh, porn cover up and on... Uh, on and on. <laughs> yeah, sure. Oh, yeah. Don't even start. Tucker Carlson, ain't he a joke? Ain't he a joke? Tucker Carlson, yep. All miners all seem to be down. Bitcoin soaring. Yep, it's true. Hey, guys, do you reckon BITF is a buy right now? I do. Johnny, I'll buy. It could go lower. Yes, it could. <laughs> everything, Everything is agreed upon. All right, now, now let's refresh this screen because I see I got a very big delay on this thing. So let's get rid of that. Look at all the donors we've had today. Thank you, donations coming in. Everybody keeping this channel alive all day if we can just do donations all day long, everyone. 42 viewers here. Cheers to you. Let's go look and see what, what we got going on on the main screen. Get rid of me, and here we go. 893. Ah, beautiful, folks. I love seeing this. Today's low, 891. Did I just step away? My wife called me away and I missed buying this stock at the low of the day. No, because I got up early. <laughs> I stayed up late and I bought this at $8.74. Cha-ching. 19 cents higher than it currently sits. With 12,806,000 shares traded at 11 o'clock. I want to thank you very much. I want to thank you for letting me be myself again. Oh, yeah. Let's buy some more stock here. Let's buy some more of this SoFi down zero. It's up six, and it's six, 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 and the zero, six cents, and the six, six. Cents. Look at that number, folks. I'm buying it. I'm buying it. <clears throat> There's no way to deny it. I'm buying it. Oh, yeah, everybody, thank you for working with me. We're not going to stop this page, even though it's loading very slowly. I uh, will have to do another clean disk on my computer, apparently. Buying some more here. Let's buy some more SoFi. Yeah, let's buy more. And actually, it might even be a better time to be buying BITF. Let's see what they've done to it. Oh, my goodness, 288. Oh, my God, 10% down. Thank you. Thank you for no reason except the Bitcoin price rising. I'll take that any day of the week. I'll buy that for a dollar. All right, let's buy some BITF. Buying, add to position. Let's pick it up right here, folks. Pick up 100 shares with me, review order, and place it. It's already set for 100 for my last buy, and I'm coming in at 286.01. 286.01. Come on, baby. I want that number I see on the screen because that's a shorter's giveaway number. Let me take that from them. <clears throat> no, unfortunately, I did not get 286.01. I got 287, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sorry. I tried, but I got BITF at 287, and I'm going to be dang glad I did when it's at 4. 287, 100 shares. Thank you. I've now purchased it at 289.5, 288.99, 290.26, 289.5, 290.26, 289, 5, 289 29, 20, 6, 289 and 287. 
Thank you very much. I appreciate it. I love the number 288, so I might as well just buy some more there. It's just like buying SoFi in the 88s. I've already mentioned to you, every single time I bought this stock in an 88 number, I've made money. Every time without, without any exception. Yeah, I just bought some BITF just then, so you should probably buy a little too. Do not buy 5,000 shares and tell me, I just bought 5,000 at 287. Show. No, you bought 50 there or you bought 10, okay? You bought 10 there. You buy it at 288, folks. You sell it at 287 on the way up. You buy it at 289 on the way down. That's usually the way I like to play this. So if it falls below 289, even better if you can get in the 287, because that's my general rule, and I'm going to stick to it to the end of my life. All right, I will do that. I'm going to do it again, review order, and place it. I would love to get it higher now, but I'll take it whenever they give it to me. I was trying for 286.01. I ended up getting 287. Let's see what I pick up right now. Oh, my folks, ladies and gentlemen, I am again at 287. That gives me two there at 100 at 287. So that's 200. Boom, boom. Thank you very much. Next, let's move on down the line, see what's going on with CLSK. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, it's been manipulated down. Look at that GCT, everybody. Holy smokes. You guys can't go wrong with this one here. Now, we want to look at another one, this one here. Holy smokes, they've driven it down to where I almost bought it this morning at $29.50. It was $29.50, folks, in the pre-market, just so you know, for the low. So you might as well put yourself a buy in there at $29.55 or $56. All right, that's what I say. This thing was up 40% yesterday, and here's the buy spot. All right, they already, they've already they already worked this out in the pre-market. They know how low the resistance was in the pre-market, and that was at $29.50. So I'm telling you now, they've already tested the waters when everyone was still asleep, tucked in their little beds, and they've already tested that price, and that's where I would be picking it up right here. I think you can't go wrong to get it here. All right, I could be wrong. So don't buy a lot. In case you didn't know about the key Fed inflation measure, it rose 0.4 in January as expected, up 2.8. But you might be confused if you roll down here because it says, headline, PCE, that's that's it, the same thing, PCE, personal consumption expenditures, that's what it means. Headline, PCE, including the volatile food and energy categories, increased, it says 0.3% monthly and 2.4 on 12 month basis so which is it is it 0.4 percent and two up 2.8 or is it actually this number that they're showing you here i don't know what the difference is between headline pce and pce all right i don't know i don't know but uh it says the personal consumption expenditures price index excluding food and energy costs oh excluding Okay, was 0 0.4 and 2.8. All right, I got it now. Perfect. That's the difference. One is excluding volatile food and energy categories, okay? All right. So, they're trying to paint a pretty picture to it, and I like what's going on today, by the way. Uh, as you can see, they've just driven the Dow Try to drive it red. I don't know that it still is. I have to refresh the screen to see that now. Got to be careful when you're looking at Yahoo that you refresh the screen. What you guys need to be aware of is that this the index that uh, we are in, the Russell index, is the highest gainer on the day. That's small caps, people. Small caps benefiting here. Yesterday's low on SoFi was $8.83, just so you're aware of that. And I'm going to buy it some more right here. And I'm going to put in a very large order here and uh, reaccumulate some of the many thousands I've sold recently. I'm going to put in a 500 share order at 888. 
Right now, limit order. There it is, review order and play. Review order and put your password in. And place it, there we go. All right, so I will, I'll step up. I'll add some zeros as in Clark says to me and Sean Shaw. It ain't easy. Hurricane said they could pull SoFi down to 850. I hope so. They could pull, they could pull SoFi down from $9.18 to $6.41. I've seen it before. Just so you're all aware of that. Now, I know stepping away, when I when I stay on here, I keep a lot more viewers. I lost about 20, so I'm sorry. But I would ask, like, the, the ones that are here now to please hit the like button. Something like 18% of my viewership yesterday increase was because of people being sent my, my thumbnail. That's because of you guys and gals. And the more people that we can bring into the fold, if you will, the more buyers we have buying up SoFi stock. The more people that I can show this chart to, the better, folks. <laughs> That's the scariest chart I've ever seen if you're a shorter. I'm telling you right now, man, you don't want to see a chart that looks like that if you're shorting a stock. Look at that 200-day moving average, folks, just rising and rising and rising. You know, the thing is, it, it keeps doing it in this nice little sequence. From right here, you can see rise and pullbacks and rise and pullbacks and rise to the pullbacks and rise and then the pullback. Well, that little pullback there wasn't much right there, folks. That's the difference. All right. Those of you that are on his channel right now, you need to observe the long-term route. This is the direction we're going. We're going to keep going this way, except that we are going to increase the longitudinal, latitudinal, uh, latitudinal movement. It's going to be higher latitudes, okay? That's what I see coming. I see a beautiful looking mirroring image of a two candlesticks equaling each other there, two equaling each other there, two equaling each other there, two equaling, one equal, equal, equal there. <laughs> Look at the similarities of these, except this one that was falling, folks, was a red one, wasn't it? But this one over here, even as it was following, falling, what was that one? It was green. <laughs> and then the next one over here, folks, you just got to see that volume level on that day. There was two days of it, really, that they were dropping it down. It was back-to-back -back days right there. And I want to try to make sure I am on the one-day interval, and I am. But I show you this volume on this spike on the 29th of January, everybody. And then I come across here. Let's go to the golf voice. And I drop all the way across the screen, and I come to this same spike right there. That is 186 million shares and the next day, 268 million to drive the price. It really ran up. It was a big green candlestick. It was up at around, looks to me like it almost reached around $15. It was. Hit $15 on the button that day on 268 million. I look for that number to sell right there, 1497 folks. Put yourself a sell order on SoFi at 1497 and stop the shorts from borrowing. I hope I get to fill this order here at 888 right now and make my freaking day. Not only would it make my day, because if, if this is the low of the day, then that would be a higher low, which is in sequence with what we've seen all along. 811, 816, 870, 883, 891. It continues. <clears throat> Man. They're going to try for that. They got to get it down below this 883, folks. You'd be the smartest in the world to put a buy order in right now at 884 and 883 and 882 even. Instead of buying 500 shares, break it up into little chunks, okay? All right? Go with me. We go with the flow here. Let's make some money, man. We got to make some money. 
You got to know why they're going to try to reach a certain number. It means a lot to them to show that they broke the trend of a higher low for five days in a row. They can't stand to see that, by the way. We're the ones that are winning here, folks. The longs are, the bulls are in full control, and this chart is complete proof of it. And when I show you this crazy mirroring of all of these spikes, and I show you that the similarity of that big volume spike right there at 286 million shares, and then over there, it was 268 million coincidentally. That's the number that it was that day, 268 million shares. And the price, folks, dropped from right there at $15 all the way to right here. Look how fast it dropped to 12 a $3 drop from right there on the 18th. In one week, a $3 drop. Man, could it make a one-week $3 pop? Yeah, it sure could. It could make a one-week $3 pop. If it can do that on the way down, it can do it on the way up, can it? That's right, folks. History can, in fact, repeat itself. And I see this image looking better and better on this screen to me. Every day I look at it, it looks better and better. And if this is why, folks, this is why all the institutions are coming in now. This is why all the big equity funds, not just hedge funds, but equity funds, insurance companies, folks, they're coming in. And this line that I drew over here, you can see it's progressing right? We almost need to change the angle on this thing, folks, up here now. Seriously. Man, oh man, look where this thing could be here just in a matter of it, man. May the 20th. Wouldn't it be something to see this thing on May the 15th, David Chiavrini Day at $12.61? Look at that. It's the, when it'll be the 15th. Yeah, there it is. The 15th right there, price $12.43. After he said it was going to $2.50, it'd be funny, wouldn't it? Wouldn't that be awesome? These, these uh, charts here, they just look very, 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 very good here, and they're very, they're very, like I said, mirror-like. And I owe that uh, observation right there from the middle being basically right there. I owe that to Hurricane Lopez, who got my attention on this very early on when I think we were somewhere around this point right here and we got over to this point is when he pointed it out to me. And I started looking at it more in detail and I thought he was right. And I can see, I can see these very similar, like this, to me, this one right here is the most eye-catching eye for me. This move right here from that price to that price. And then I looked over here and I saw this price over here, the low there to that one there. And I thought, man, look at those two right there. They look identical. This move right here. And on the drop, they made it drop even further, folks, right there, this move. But this one here, look at how similar that is. And then coincidentally, right after that, there's a drop down. And so there after that move, there's your drop down. But folks, after that drop down, this thing moves. And if it follows that, which it looks like it's starting to do right now. Oh, man, look out, people. Look at these last green days. Look at the candlesticks on this charts, folks. <clears throat> I'm not kidding you. Look at these candlesticks. Starting out from the second, one green. We got one out of two, two out of three, two out of four, three out of five, four out of six, five out of seven, six out of eight, seven out of, uh, not six out of eight, five out of, uh, <laughs> yeah, five out of eight, six out of nine, seven out of 10, eight out of 11 and then we got eight out of 10 uh seven out of 10 seven out of 11 eight out of 12 <clears throat> you got nine uh out of 14 at this point i guess 10 out of 15 11 out of 16 12 out of 17 13 out of 18 
I mean, we got a lot of days going up green here, folks. Green candle six on these days. There's a lot. There's only one, two, three, four, five, six red. <clears throat> and there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve green. We're outnumbering them two to one on the green candle six right now. And that's why this 10 day moving average looks so gorgeous right now and beautiful on it. Uh, I tried to do something the other day. <laughs> I tried to show a five-day chart. And when I jumped on the five-day chart, they started showing me a different time. S they weren't showing me a five-day. Look at that. They show a five-minute interval. Look at look at what Yahoo's doing here. If you click on the five-day chart, they won't show you daily movement. They go on this, they go on this five-minute interval. Well, let's change that five minute and go to a one-minute interval. All right, that's still that. See, that's to their advantage. But I want to change this because I'm looking for a five day. I want to not go at five minute intervals. I want to go one day intervals. Ah, that looks a lot better, doesn't it? If you're looking at the five day chart and you're looking at that one or five minute interval, that looks pretty bad. But if you look at it right now, folks, that five day looks awesome. But notice how they change it to five minute when you're looking for a five day. I'm just showing you that. Hey, I'll take this right here. Bring it to even and I'll take it. And they're trying to go one penny in the red here. I'll buy another 500 here. Review order and place it. I'm here to get this thing at the bottom, folks, period. 500 shares, give it to me right now. I'd love to get this at 885 or 886. I don't care. That's great. And I did. I want to thank you very much, whoever just donated to my cause at 886. Thank you very much. 886. 100. Bye. So far. All right, folks, it's time for a song. And uh, let's just go ahead and put in some buy orders here lower. I'm going to try for 880. I'll try it right here for just 50 shares. I'm going to make sure get low of the day, first of all. Review order. We're going to do market now. Market share, review order, and place it. I'm going to get this low if I can, folks. Let me get this here. At least 50 shares. <clears throat> Waiting right now. Come on, Phil, man. Come on. 885 for me. Give me that 885 number. What's the delay here? Come on. There it is. I got it. 885. Beautiful. Thank you. 885. 50 shares. Cha-ching. Bye. All right, let's go for 884 right now. Let's get that order in, a limit order. Market limit. 884, 884. All right, review order and place it. At 884, I'm in. I'm just buying 50 at a time now, folks. I went in good enough 500 uh, 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 earlier there. And I want to thank whoever it was that sold to me at 888. I'm very grateful to you. Because I'll always make money off of that number. Always. I could have made a lot of it buying it yesterday if I sold it again this morning when it was up, the price was at uh, $10.13 or whatever it was today. I mean, 913. Because I said, you know, I like to sell at 913. They're trading here in a channel of 913 to this, this number here. That's the trading channel. And you got to take advantage of this, folks. All right, this looks good to me. Red four cents, by the way. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> Buy it. Review order and place it. 50 shares. I'm in market right here. Hit me, man, with your best shot, shorty. 
882. And I'm buying him because I'm expected to sit here. I'm only doing 50 shares at a time. 882. 50 more for you to give to me. Thank you very much. Catfish Tyler here to tell you that you sell like I did two days ago at the high and yesterday at the high. You buy these things at the low. You keep selling it at the high. You're going to make money every single day, every day. Review order in place and I'm in. I'll take some more here. Here, I see what it's at 884 already. I just bought it at 882. I see the volume at 15 million shares, which is the amount that they short with every day. So I figure they're getting close. I'm in. I want to thank you very much. I like that number just as much. I like 884. It's all. I also got the numbers eight. All 884. I love that number. 884. 50 shares. Thank you. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. Por todo lo que es aquí como amigo que habla español, yo digo muchas gracias por ser es aquí. Nosotros comprar a la base. Okay. I think that's the word. We buy at the bottom. <laughs> Hurricane said they could pull it down to 850. I don't see that. They could, and if they do, I'll buy it there too. Well, I sold it, uh, folks, at $9.13 twice and have bought it back here twice. Now, three times. Yesterday, I bought here, and I could have sold at 913 again this morning. I even said that this morning when it got there. If you were there to go back to the very beginning of this broadcast, you'll hear me say, well, I'm, I'm tempted to sell this again because I know the channel are trading in, but I think I'm not going to because I don't want to sell into it and give it. In. I think it has the pressure possibly upside with this news of the of the economy that we could see it go right on up past that 920. So I did not sell today at my usual 913. I did not do it. If I had, I would have been making money again today. And I'm still making money today. You guys watched me buy this all through the $7.70 about three or four days ago. That 780s, I was just piling in on this thing a dollar less than where it is now. <clears throat> you know, I um, I had somebody ask me, you know, why do you keep track of your buys and sells like this? And uh, why don't you just rely on the information that they're giving you on the site? Well, it's too hard uh, to do it, to be honest with you. <coughs> uh, you have to jump back and forth to, from pages and, and uh, sold, sold and opens and all this stuff. Forget that, man. You just write it down like this. But the reason I'm showing you this, folks, is because you'll understand why I'm smiling today. Okay. And I'm not frowny faced like Tanner. I'll show you. And here it is right here. So another thing is it gives me a chance to show you guys my buying technique and how, how I did it that day, what how I made money that day, all right, and how you can make money, all right? So this that was so far was at 775, and it had been much higher where I sold it. It was like, I don't know. It was higher, not 798 or something where I sold it. So I started buying it back. And look how many I bought at 767, just like I just bought at 888. Okay. Boom, 500 shares, replicating that again. All right. So then as it kept falling, I bought 100 shares at 766, 757. That was the lowest I got right there. Then it, it started turning around. And as it got back up, I came back and the price had jumped up and I started putting my buy orders in here. At, at 7.55, uh, I did not fill there. At 7.56, I did not fill there. But I filled at 7.57, 100 shares. I filled 20. Then I started buying in small increments as it rose. 
build 20 and 766, 20 and 767, 20 and 768. But you see the check marks beside this? Because every time I place it, I put a dot beside it. And every time it fills, I check the dot. We got it? Then as I kept buying, you can see I, bought, I filled here. But what happened was I filled once and it kept going up and it went all the way up here to this price, 777. Well, then they dropped the price back down here. Boom. And I filled it again. See that? I filled twice at 768. Then it came back up here. <laughs> and then it dropped back again. All the way back. I filled all those orders. Look at that. Isn't that funny? 769, I filled three times. 770, I filled four, uh, three times. 771, I filled one, two, three, four, five times. See how they were trying so hard to keep this wall here? But they, they didn't. What did it do? It, it eventually broke down. And look what the price is today, okay? I mean, and that's not the only place I did that. If you look over here, you'll see the next day, the price had driven down to here. And I started putting my orders in 20 at a time. And I'm placing my orders two cents below the running up price. So as the price was running up, I had my orders going in two cents below. It, it pulled back. I filled twice right there. Came back up, well, once, once there and once there. Then it came back up to this number. And then the same thing happened that happened the day before. The price ran up. I kept putting it up. Bam. They ran it back down. All those filled. Then the price came back up, 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 up. They ran it back down. Boom. All those filled back down. <laughs> Started running, putting them in again. See, the same thing, because I saw this, I saw this yesterday. I saw the same movie already. This is a long version. This was like a two and a half hour movie. This was only about a, you know, one hour and 45 minute movie, okay? But look at how they tried each time, and now that it finally broke away at 792, and that was the end of it. There were none of those other ones. How do you like that? Now, the next day, and I'm just showing you this so you can understand why I write it all down, because I like to watch it. I like to see it happening, and here's the next day. Look at this thing. <laughs> Again, I had already sold it up here in the 865, and then I started buying it back. And I bought it at 824, 25, 26, 27, and, and then it dropped, and then I bought a bunch of orders there. It dropped several times to the 799s. And then it came over here, and it started to make its move. And folks, just look how many times I filled orders here at $7.99 and $8, okay? A many, 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 many orders filling there as they tried so hard to stop it from going over eight right there. Look at all those, that how many times they did it again to me. And these are just little orders I'm coming in here with, 20 at a time, people, 20 at a time. And that's the way I bought it. And then it finally broke through this and it kept going up and I kept buying it. Man, I just stayed into this thing. And so I own, that's why I have a smile on my face, okay? <laughs> When, when you get a bad down day, a day like this where we're down. All right. I'm just showing you this. I don't know that it matters to many people, but some might like it, what I'm showing you, and I appreciate it. <clears throat> no, no, is sandbagging this year. His plan is to work behind the scenes on tech sales, improving lending, et cetera, and then spike the share price up, burning the shorts in the process. He knows the game. Yep. He will play the game behind the scenes to get his own back on the shorts and get their stock price to 25 45 by 2026. We've been let we'll be laughing soon. You're right, Shanus. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. Now back to what's happening in the real world. Look at that. Filled at 882, didn't we? Oh my God. Yes, we did. So far, 882, 884, 880. Did I get 882 today? Did I get the low? Tell me so. Oh, tell me so. I got the low once again. 82, 882. Yeah, baby. Woo, woo, woo. And by the way, I'm going to make money on every single purchase I've made today. Well within a month, will be over $10, okay? That's my call. And I could say it could go over $20, and I could be right. And I could say the price of SoFi could actually be over $30 in less than a month. And I could be right. 
but I'd likely be wrong. <laughs> but I could be right. And that's the thing about the stock that I like so much. See, I've seen it happen before, everybody. I've seen it happen before. I've seen it happen many times and made much money when it happens every time. All right, so you guys, you got to hit the like button right now. And uh, let's get this thing building up into other people's account. You know, I was trying to say earlier, <clears throat> everybody thinks that Citibank that we got the deal with as the number uh, top five. And I agree with the analysis that Tevis has made that the, the top five bank that we have is not, the, as some are saying, U.S. bank. They, because, But here's the key thing. They have ties with both of these banks through, pre, for the, through their current employees of high positions. Their executives have ties with both of these banks. All right. Says YouTube is not receiving enough signal to get maintained smooth sailing. So this is typical of this area where we have wow internet. And I just want you to know, folks, that uh, don't worry. I'll be back if they cut me off. I'll come back up on here. And look at the green, going green again already. Doggone it, 880s. I told you every position I bought would be green, would be a green one. And they will. My 888 will always make money without fail. And what's the lunchtime low? I think we just saw it already right there. That was it, folks. Good, good for you if you bought it. Because <clears throat> as I said, we're already at... Uh, 15 million shares, that's exactly about the amount of shares that were probably borrowed to short with again today. And shorting has gone, folks, to a leapt up to 158 million shares, borrowed shares shorted, 158 million, when they were only at like 89 million on the, what was it? I'm trying to remember the date, but it was 89 million not long ago, and now we're at 152 million. 58. We were at 152 million day before yesterday. Now we've jumped to 158 million. They're digging themselves a deeper hole. And what you just saw happen just then was some of them realizing and saying, we got to get out of this these positions. Let's just get out today. Let's just throw in the town. Ding dong, the shorts went long. This is our new sofa song. Yeah. Ding dong, the shorts went long today. <laughs> Ding dong, the shorts went long. They realized we're all King Kong strong, yeah. Ding dong, the shorts went long today. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> so far it grows and grows. We know it grows and grows, yo ho. And this is why we sing and we ring the bell, yeah. Ding dong, the shorts went long. This is our new SoFi song. Ding dong, the shorts went long today. You know, one day... 50 years from now, this will still be on YouTube and some people will be going back to find out who was searching historical. Yote. Ah, BITF down big today. Ah, good for it. Bitcoin is at 61,000. BITF was at $1.97 when I told you all to buy it. And I'm just buying more. If they drop it any lower, I'll buy more of it. I bought 100 shares already. I'll come in for more. I wait for the bottom. When I see the bottom hit, I don't. See, this is what I like to do. When you get over here and it starts refreshing the screen real fast like that, you can see the gen, you can see the trend. Look at that thing, man. Watch it. It's replaying fast, folks. It's off the bottom and it's starting to move. So I'll buy it here. That definitely looks good. BITF, add to position, review order. I've got 100 in place already. Mark it, go. I'm taking this right now, whatever I can get it for, because I just had that re re replay very rapidly there. Folks, that's something you can learn from. I'm starting to pick up on this, and I like it a lot, that if I don't refresh the page for a long time, I can see a trend develop. 283, I got it. BITF at 283. Thank you very much, whoever that was. Bye. Yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah, you can't go wrong buying it here. 282, I'll take that too if I can get it. Let's put it, let's redo that one. 
I'm doing 100 share orders here. Review order and place it. Let's see what we get. Come on, man. Give it to me again at 283. There it is, 283. Very nice. And there's 283.01. Now, that I love seeing a, a sell at 283, and then I see the 01 after that. I love, I love seeing that. 283. Give me two there. This is a good price, folks, here. This is a very good price on this with Bitcoin where it's headed. If you don't know what I'm talking about, look at the Bitcoin chart over the last one month. You see that? This is a breather right here. This is a quick breather. It's where, it's where it lets off a little bit before it goes on upwards, folks. I'm telling you, this Bitcoin is going to be going to all-time highs soon enough. And look at that, green 888 where I bought it, the first 500. Or, or 1,000, I can't remember. <laughs> But I, regardless, man, you can't go wrong buying this stock at 888 a share. You couldn't go wrong at 788. You were not wrong at 688. You weren't wrong at 588. And you were not wrong at 488. If you were buying with me at every one of those numbers, which I obviously did, because I love the number 88. I love to sell it there when it's going up, and I love to buy it there when they're dropping it down. Simple as that. It's my favorite number, 88. I love it. It happens to be one of the most frequently manipulated from numbers in the marketplace. That one in 13. They're the king of the hills, both of them. 13 and 88. There's no dispute. 66. That's going to change to 616 pretty soon. It'll be 16 cents. <laughs> Look at this thing go, folks. She's on fire. She's on fire. <laughs> yeah, when you hear these people hit these really high notes, they are not really seeing them at the level that you're seeing regular notes. They're done in the very back of the throat. Fire! And they get up tight on the mic, man, and then they just you can crank that volume, and man, they can make them sound like they just got incredible range. Oh, yeah! You know, <laughs> it's just right up here tight like this. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah. You can even get good and put a little vibrato on there. <clears throat> Just teaching you a little bit about the music world in case you weren't aware of it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. You can even hit certain notes you want, you know. You can change it, do harmonies. Ah. All right, anyway, just mucking around here. All right, let's see here. Mickey Muck, Mickey Muck, Silo uh, Pets, BITF down big today. What's your thoughts on opening the position? Yes. <laughs> I'm opening my position now on it as we speak. I'm buying it in, so, in small increments, as you can see, and I will continue to apply pressure if I see others applying pressure to the stock price rising again. So I will continue to come in where I see pressure being risen. Let's go look at some other ones here. PNG, someone asked me about this earlier today, so I'm watching it. I just have it because someone mentioned it. Uh, TCNNF, folks, awesome, awesome. That was a very good buy back in when we got it in the nines. Congratulations if you did that with me. BKSY down 4% today. I might pick up some more of that, but I'm not sure. I'm just not, not going to venture into that much at this stage of the game. Don't know where we're going. Still see 10x over four. STEM has a big smiley face there. Big old smiley face. Nice. I hope it develops into a uh, whatever they call it, sleeveless shirt formation, where we see this come right on back up here to right there. All right. Looking across here, oh man, what happened to the LAES run-up? It was up like freaking, what the heck? Oh my gosh. Talk to me, talk to me, help me out here. I need something rising. 
I need a price rising besides just SoFi here on our charts. We're looking at the entire market right now reacting to the news. And the NASDAQ took it in well. But the biggest gainer today, folks, is the Russell. They're trying to yank it back down. They're trying to, I don't know who's responsible for trying to do this, this sluggish response to the to the news. But this is not bad news for the economy. And look at SoFi now. Nice. Oh, yes, everybody. Here we go. I ring the alarm for anybody who is shorting this stock right now. I'm out to proclaim you better get your butt out of this very quickly. I am here to declare as we speak and watch this happen in front of our very eyes. SoFi is about to start to skyrocket. This channel is going to pick up a lot of viewers. I'm counting off the volume now. 15, 9, 24, 15, 9, 31, 8,000 shares just bought at 891, folks. 15, 9, 35. You just saw 30,000 shares acquired happily at 891. 15, 9, 47 now. I'm keeping you abreast of this because it's important. 11,000 shares just bought at night, 891. 15, 9, 62. 2000, 15,964. This is important because I feel the energy. I feel it and I'm going to watch for the volume jumps. 15,971 now. It's starting to build quickly. Prices at 891, 15,973. Driving it down to 8,90 now with 15,975. That was no volume to make it go and now it's back up the penny already. 15,981. No big volume to make it swinging here, 890 to 91. Now it's little stuff. Algorithm's working. It's rising. Price is definitely rising, folks. Volume is rising. I like it a lot. I like it. I like what I'm seeing there. I am here watching ACMR for the low today. It looks like it's there, folks. That's a long time to trade it sideways right there. There's some accumulation happening on this right now, I do believe, right here. I got my eye on it. BITF, there you go. Bought it at the low. That was beautiful. See that? Look at the trend. Look at the trend. I come back to it now and you see where it is right now, folks. I told you that trend was obvious by that replay screen. Let's go look at PLTR and see what's going on here. I like it. And this right here on Clean Spark at $15.99 would be a good buy. This is being driven down uh, just like uh, uh, BITF is right now. That is a very, very massive drop down to make their way in. And they're doing it right now by a slow war of attrition. Watch for this to break right now off of 15, 9, 15, 1597. I like that number as an entry. So I'm going to pick up some more of this. Right here. Review order and place it. <clears throat> I'm only buying 50 shares of this, folks. There's not going overboard. Because I like to see it here at this number. Very much I do. Ah, yes. I'll take that. 1595. That's a good number. In my opinion, I could be wrong. Oh, look at that. I already jumped over 16. That's it, folks. It's over for that one. CLSK, 15.95. 50 shares. Thank you. Whoever sold me those, yes, that was beautiful. Ah, oh, yes. Oh, uh, yeah. Come on, folks, with me. This is a good number. 1608 is still a good number to buy. Let's do another 50 right here. Review order and place it. I love the number eight. Come on, baby. Give me that 1608. You can do it. There's plenty of volume coming across here. 1607. Look at that. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm bummed I got it at 1607. Bought it at 1595. And bummed, I've got it at 1607. 
All right. Well, you got to take what you got. All right, folks. I'm happy with those buys right there. Those are two good ones right there. We're going to watch a while. We're going to watch. Looks like it's got some nice upward possibility from this accumulation right here, in my opinion. I could be wrong, but I don't think so. Ah, that's one of my favorite songs, says Tattoo Chance. Lucky? <laughs> I was doing a little bit of, oh my gosh, folks, look at this baby go. Ah, uh, I told you, that's the alarm bell for any shorters. You better get out right now. I rang the bell 10 minutes ago and you didn't listen, did you? And now I'm ringing it again. It's a double alarm fire. It's a two alarm, all right? This thing is hot, baby. It's hot, hot, hot. This so far is the hottest stock on the market today. I'm going to call it right now. It is getting more visibility. It is on more headlines. It is getting more notoriety. They've raised from a 1% of the population recognizing their name to 10% of the population now knows their name because of their visibility. And they're creating more and more of it every day. This NBA deal was fantastic. This deal that they just signed with TGL Golf is awesome, and it just gives them more time to get it all organized. They were kind of rushing in, they even said, and this delay with the roof collapse, um, and it was just an inflated roof with air suspension, and they lost power to the building, and the air suspension didn't exist because it got no air circulating. But anyway, so far, as you can see, just as the roof is being repaired now, SoFi is in a state of repair from downgrades by companies like KBW, KBWB, KBW Bank, who came out on the 1st of January and downgraded the stock to make it fall 20%. That's right, Invesco. I'll show you all now, those that don't know about this. And by the way, you should be buying this ACM. Are right there. My suggestion pick up 10 shares. ACMR. Look at that thing go, people. Breaks back up over nine. This will be a great day again for us to trade in this stock. Look at that thing when you when you hit it. See, I'm refreshing the page now. You're getting to see a playback of it right now. Thank you, Red Squirrel. Look at her run, folks. Look at her run. Go to the five-day chart, folks. <laughs> five-day. Look at that five-day chart right now. Everything's coming apart right now for the shorties, holy cow. Can't you see it now? Look at the five-day chart right now. I mean, the shorts are out of it, man. They're just completely out of control of this stock. They're out of control of this stock. They've lost it, man. They used all their shares already that they had, the 15 million they borrowed today to run it down with. It's gone bye-bye. No more fake shares. No more fakey fakey. They just getting bakey bake. Yeah, everybody, I'm calling it, man. CLSK at 1596. Thank you for letting me know and keeping me abreast of the situation. I see it at 1611. I guess they dropped it. No, it's at 1613. I got it at the low already. 1595. You got it at 1596, Justin? Yep. James Anderson says I'm right about something, but there's I was right about CLSK below 16. And I think I'm right about SoFi at 888, wasn't I? Wasn't I? <laughs> 
I told you every time. <laughs> never bought the stock at 888 when I didn't make money. Never. And I and the trend continues. <coughs> oh goodness gracious. Awesome, folks. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Bought some ACMR at 29.50. Hey, I bought this stock right here last night at 8.74 in the after hours. Now up 20 cents. But I don't have as much exposure now on SoFi as I did. I'd have to tell you, folks, I was very heavily overweighted uh, on SoFi. I've been just buying it on the lows all the time and hadn't really been selling much at the highs. And I decided to time, time to make a little bit of real money. So I did. I started doing it. Started selling at the highs. You see me sell it now at 1013. I mean, 913 a couple of times. You saw me buy it back lower. But this morning, I decided to be more optimistic and think I'm not going to help them bring it back down from 913 if, there's, if they're going to struggle to hold it there. So I did not do 913 today. And you can see the high, 914. Well, guess what, folks? That's only the high so far. Gustav Graves, $2. Thank you very much. Young Kong says, BITF is lower now. All right. Well, I bought it at 283, 200 shares at 283, so I'm okay. You had me worried. There we go. Go, Sofi. Right on over nine. Let's go. Carry it on over. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to be aware of something. Gustav just came in first time in the tank and bam, hits me with money. Thank you very much, Gustav. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Many time over. Oh, I misspelled your name. Thank you. I send you my love. <clears throat> Justin Schaefer, here we go, baby. Launch that rocket. Now back up over 915. Here we go. I agree. Let's push it on up. Push it on up. Push it on up. Push it on up. Look at that shot right now, everybody. Holy cow, you can see going now higher. Everybody, don't be fooled by the rules of the. They're trying to get you to. This thing's on fire, man. This thing is ablaze. Look at this chart, folks. Change this pitch angle right now and make it this what it really is, what it's going to be right now. Make that our new pitch angle. That would be sweet. Let's move this out and see where that puts us in the price in freaking 10 days from now. <laughs> Yikes, man. Look out here. By April the 4th, my birthday, man, the price would be up over $25. Folks, the, that could happen, man. It could happen in a second. It could happen in a heartbeat. It could happen on a news break. Any story. Look at this right here. I come over here and I'm watching it and fast forward now. 8.95 and rising. She's 8.95 and rising, rising, rising. Ha uh -huh. ha. We're going to do a country song about it. It's so fire blazing. <laughs> All the shorts going crazy while it's blazing. Ah, uh, yes. Yes, indeed. We're going to sing a song of soap fi Hey, did you like my thumbnail today? SoFi going supersonic, ladies and gentlemen, breaking the speed of sound as it goes upwards. SoFi. 
Yes, indeed. We have another one to add to a donation. Hold on a moment, everybody. It's so important that this be done, and recognition will come every time anybody does what he, you do, and that's make a contribution. You will go on the wall of fame for the day, and now we get to put in and Gustav Graves. Yes. Now he's in on the mix too. Put him on the screen. Everybody's seen who puts in some green, right? You know what I mean? Put you on the screen if you throw in some green, if you know what I mean. As we stream and we scream. We scream for so far. All right, everybody. Have some fun with King Cat here. I got to get back sniffing around for some information on this company here. So far. All right. So we're having some fun here. 50 folks. I appreciate all of you who've donated today and made this channel profitable. And that's what my wife wants to see. Let's get some income coming from all of you guys making all this money off all these picks. Buying at the lows every day and selling at the highs with catfish tie. Oh, yeah. She's running, everybody. She's gunning, everybody. You can see she's running. She's going higher and higher. She's going to break through 9. and She's going to break through 10. She's going to break through 11 and 12 and 13 and all those numbers. All those come in our future, folks. Be patient. Watch the long-term charts and rest assured that, the, that we're on target here, folks. Now, this <laughs> This line here, this might be a little exaggerated, okay? We could come over here with it. Let's see it follow that line instead of this one here that I have currently in place. All right, let's see that. Let's see it follow this line. Let's see it not follow that pitch angle, but go much more up. And I think it can very easily happen from here. I love this price going up right now. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to start day trading. I'm going to start day trading. Ah, look at BITF coming at it even harder right now. Man, are they out of desire to burn this thing. Look at the doggone freaking one week, uh, one month chart on Bitcoin and tell me why that's happening. Because they want in, folks. They want in. That's why. Just like we saw with GCT. Just like we saw with GCT. They want in. Just like they wanted here when they dropped that price $12. They wanted in, and look what they did to it afterwards. They let it run. Folks, same thing's happening with BITF, in my opinion. I could be wrong, but I don't think so. Not seeing Bitcoin looking like that. And over the four-hour period, sure, it's taking a little bit of a dip. Who cares? It's going to breathe. It's breathing right now. Man, it's trading sideways. Slightly down, it's perfect. This is exactly what we should see happening before it goes on off. Bitcoin down 1% and BITF down 10. All right, I think I'll buy it there. I think that would be a very exaggerated down 11%. Yeah. I'm sorry, folks. I got to buy it here some more. <laughs> Just because I know where Bitcoin's going. BITF. Let's get it right here. Let's get it. Market share. Come on. Review order and place it. Let's see what we got. Ah, password. Filled at 281. Filled at 281. Oh, I'm buying some sizable amounts here, too, believe me. Let's do it again. Review order and place it. Field again at 281. That's two there. 
kimchi bacon with the inflation down we are on the course for a rate cut we are on course for a rate cut yes we are we are let's buy this again <laughs> i just i see the bottom man it's here to me it's the, here 281 again folks three times in a row And interesting that uh, the cha the price isn't changing at all. I don't see any 281s on here, but I put market orders and that's what they're all filling at. So I don't know why I can't get those numbers that are, they're showing, but I'm not getting them. Anyway, I was glad to get these right here that I just bought down there in that 2882 range. I can tell you that. That was awesome. Hey, folks, what did I tell you? What was yesterday's low? What was yesterday's low? 883. What did I tell you to put your buy orders in at? One penny below that, didn't I? Didn't I? I told you so. They had to stop that run that they, we had going. I told you so. I, I called that, folks. I absolutely told you one hour ago or 45 minutes ago, I said, Folks, look at yesterday's low, and they're going to try to beat that down one penny because they got this day at 811, the next at 816, the next at 870, the next at 883, and they can't have this thing keep going up. The low has to be lower, and they did it because they had to do it, folks, and I love seeing that, and I took advantage of it. Yes. I took advantage of their necessity. Yes, you could have too, folks. You could have put your buy order in there with me. I told you to put it there. I said put one in at eight eighty three and eight eighty two, and I had and I told you to have one at eight eighty four, and I had them in there for that very reason. Yes. Oh, I love it, folks. I feel good. I feel the energy. When you can see from the history and you can tell, you start to be able to read these guys, whoever it is. I love it. I'm glad you're here with me on this channel. And I hope you're feeding off my excitement and my, my happiness. And you know what it is? Hey, I feel like I'm blessed by the good Lord above for showing me over all these 25 years of what I've done since I got on the wheel of fortune. <laughs> Kim Chi, glad I didn't hold Mara after earnings down 17%. You see people ask me, what should I do? I said, never hold anything through earnings. Don't. The only stock to hold through earnings is SoFi. And you're only going to, what you're going to do is the day before, let's say right now, this was the day before earnings. You would have sell sales at $8.99. You'd have some for sale at $9.08. You'd have some for sale at $9.12. You'd have some for sale at $9.20. And you have it for 9.30, you'd have it at 9.44, you'd have it at 9.48, you'd have it at 9.54, you'd have it at 9.65, you'd have it at 9.76, you'd have it at 9.87, you'd have it at 9.92, you'd have it at 9.98, you'd have it at 10. Your, these orders would be for sale at 10.12. You know, 1008, 1012, 1020, 1030, 1044, 1050, or 1048, 1054, 1065, 1076, 1087, and, and go up to 1092 and 1098, and then 11, and go all the way to 1108, and then 1112, and do it all the way up. Just put your sell orders in. That's what you do, okay? I've told everybody to do this already. Have your sell orders in at these numbers already. Run all your sales up so that they can't borrow your shells, shares. Put your sell order in for good till cancel GTC and leave them there. You have to re-up them every 90 days because they'll fall off. They don't have to, they don't really mean good till cancel. They mean good till cancel for 90 days. Okay. Good for 90 days or until canceled or whatever. So be aware of that. Put your orders in place. Make sure you keep up with them. Look at the stock price now, eight ninety seven. See, folks, here's the deal. They can't hold it. They can't hold it down anymore. 
they have no means, they have no way against this volume that we're seeing today. They used to be able to play and play with this stock, and today they played with it to an exact number that I told you that they would drive it down to earlier. Uh, I want to thank each and every one of you who have contributed today to this cause, uh, who may be making money off of these numbers that I'm saying where you should be buying. I told you to get in on this one where it was just then a little bit ago. That's why I bought it. Bought it at twenty nine fifty, folks. All right, going over here, we're taking a look at Bitcoin now. I'm going to refresh this one hour page. I want to see what it's doing. It looks fine to me. I see no problems with it at 62 when it was at 16,000 just weeks, uh, month, years ago, a year ago, 18,000 a year ago. BITF, I'm not concerned at all about this maneuver. I know what it is. It's maneuvering. It's getting in positions to, to take it longer and higher. So this is just a buy opportunity is what I feel. I could be wrong, but I don't think so. That's why I just bought it up there. Okay. Several, several orders filled there. PLTR looks fine to me. There's no worries at all. No concerns. CLSK, there's a good buy right there, folks. 11% down too, just like BITF. It's beautiful. Buy them both. Be happy a month from now. Remember, remember, write down the number. If you Even if you don't buy it now, just write the number down and say, Catfish said 280. Should have bought BITF. Where do you see that thing back over three and four dollars? I could be wrong. But I sure wasn't wrong about GCT, was I, everybody? Dag gum, man. This one either, right here. This one looks fine. G E N I. I know that uh, da Danny Diamonds bought this. That's a nice gainer right there. This is a very good looking stock. The, the, the money, the revenues are breaking into everything looked good. And that's why I bought it. I went back and showed everybody their, what they were, what they were doing. And it looks so good. I says, man, folks, this looks good. We need to buy into this. You scroll down here. The main thing is you can see their revenues keep increasing and they did lose a lot here because they wrote off some debt. But they took a big step in getting to the right direction here. And I think they're going to continue to do that. All right. They got three strong buys, seven buys, and one hold. Okay. So I liked it. I liked it. I looked at the year to date chart and I said, oh, man, they got driven down there. And you saw the little hiccup. There's the cup. There's the handle. And there wasn't even a drop before the pop. It just built that base and popped. So there you go. It's about a long time building the base there. I'm certainly not worried about Bitcoin. I'm not worried about BITF collapsing. <laughs> I'm not worried about now. Look, we got a fast forward going here on SoFi. That was very quick uh, toggling between 896 and 897 at least 25 times. So they're just toggling right there, ready to bounce to the next number up. Now's the time where you start putting in buy orders two cents below and run right on up with it. Okay? That's what I'm going to do. Kim C. Bacon says, with inflation down, we're on course for a rate cut. Glad I didn't hold Mara after earnings down 17%. Jeez. Did you sell SoundHound earlier, Tyler? No, I did not sell SoundHound. I sold a lot of it higher, much higher, and then I bought it back again lower, and then I sold it higher again, and then I bought it lower. And uh, I'm, I'm, I think I bought it lower than where it is even now, uh, if I remember correctly. Because I think it was making a move, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, beautiful. Sweet. I'll take that. No, I know. I know for a fact that, that I bought this uh, back yesterday morning, I believe it was, or may have even been the day before after I had sold it. 
I bought it when they dropped it. That's that's for sure. You can look at the five day chart right here. You can see right in here. I did sell it. I did sell quite a bit of it. You know, I sold uh, almost all of it right there, every bit of it. <laughs> and then I waited and I waited, and then they attacked it down at this price right there, and that's where I bought it in that six thirties range. Then it made a move up, and I said I'll just hang on to it during this slow digression. And then it popped, and I went, okay, this looks good. And now we got another pop coming in store for us, it looks like. This is just stair-stepping, and this is a great stock right now. So I'm up about 50 cents on my last buys on that. BITF, man, look at that thing just sitting there sideways for that long, building their pockets. They're just filling their pockets right now on this. I'm coming in again. Reuse order, review order, and place it. 280 now. Ah. I'm buying 100 shares at a time right here. I'm that confident in it. At this price, 11% down for no reason. I'll go again. Reuse order, review order, and place it. Two eighty once again. I expect to be filling this afternoon again on this, probably 50 shares at a time at 281 and 282. I'll just say that. I could be wrong, but I don't think so. Let's do one more right here. Two eighty once again. I like that. Uh, the volume now, 25777000 Take a look at the six-month chart on this stock, folks, okay? Take a look at the resistance level that was right here before on this stock at the same price and at the same level right there. Do you see that? 279.85, okay, right there. 272. But then look at the numbers that it goes up to there. 351. That's a nice gain, folks. This thing's been all the way down here to 213, okay? 213 on February the 5th. Even lower here, 201, I guess it would have been. $2. $2 was the bottom there. Just like SoFi hit the bottom today at uh, 9. People say, what are you talking about, man? It went way lower than that. No. We'll see where it ends up. Let's see where it ends up today. Let's see where she ends up. Don't be surprised, people. Okay? Don't be surprised, Shorty, by what's about to happen this afternoon, perhaps. Because today is day number six. Today is the sixth day from the last low, folks. I believe. 8, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 days, folks. I've already shown you the six-day swings on this stock that have occurred from highs to lows to highs to lows. Nothing would please me more than to see that be broken this afternoon as the real buyers start coming in since they did here at 11.33 or 11.30. 883 price now up 11 now up 12 cents sweet and folks we're green and this is not good for these guys 
See this one month chart? You see how many of them shorted this stock right here? Right where we are right now, folks. Look at almost every shorted position of this stock this whole month has lost major money. I don't know how much it adds up to, but I know it's a lot because I know they shorted it there and I know they shorted it there and I know they shorted it right over here. I know for sure they shorted it there, that number. They shorted it at that number and they borrowed the shares to do it. They shorted these, they borrowed, pay an interest, shorted right there and they borrowed, pay an interest, shorted there, shorted there, shorted there. All of them that shorted all those positions they thought it would drop from have all lost money this month. All of them. Every freaking one of them, everybody. Be aware of that. They are on the losing side of this battle. We got over here a team of 728 in the SoFi rowboat versus 32. Trying to stop the flow. 728 of us are pulling this boat through the water in this direction that we want to go. And that is up, up, up the stream. When you look at this chart right here, folks, this is the river. This is what we're traveling up right here. It's been very choppy for us. We've got very rough seas of the river as they tried to fight. As we know, when you go upstream, folks, it's, it's not easy. You're fighting this current the whole time, right? But we overcome that current. We've overcome that current big time from back here on February the 5th, haven't we? We came over that big old rock sledge and down and into that little quarry and then back up over this little fall. We had to walk around. This one here is where we got in trouble. We had to walk the, walk the, the boat around to the next level. We could, not, we could not make it over that fall. But okay, that's okay. I'll walk around that one, get to this level here and make our way right on up to the next one, right, everybody? So what we're doing. And meanwhile, everyone in our rear view mirror is getting smoked. These people are all getting smoked, people. I'm telling you. Uh, hey, listen, I got news for you. The ones that should have been convicted of the insurrection are free and were interviewed by CNBC to try to defend the guy, Ray, what's his name? They wouldn't disclose his location because of so many threats on his life. The guy that led the whole, let's go down there tomorrow. We're going to go into that building. We're going to torch into that building. And he's there at the front line. He's at the fence and he's whispering in a guy's ear. And seconds later, the whole fence is pushed over and a cop goes flying through the air. And that guy, he's, he's out there free. Roaming the streets today. They didn't convict him. Even though he was right there in front of all the cameras and everybody pointed him out as a fed. Don't get me going here, Jay. Just, you know what? Jay, I'm going to give you a brief timeout. And if you want to come back and keep talking about politics, you can. But I'm not going to. Basically, what I'm getting at here, Jay, I'm just going to cut the mustard. I'm just the kind of person I am. If you're stupid enough to be a Democrat right now, you don't deserve to be in this tank. If you're stupid enough to believe in Joe Biden and his policy of killing people daily over in the overseas when he's trying to be helping them and the military that is the military might that he's trying to throw around and possibly potentially start World War Three. If you're if you're going to let a guy who can't even find his way off a stage be in control of a nuclear uh, armament as big as ours, you got you got you got you got to rethink things, my friend. All right? You got to start getting on the reality side of things. OK, the real world. You're living in a mythical dream world if you think that guy has any control of what he's actually doing. He's being told completely what to do and who to do it and when and where and how and hi ha how high. But I'm not here to talk politically, so because that gets me squashed down and Yahoo will throttle me back. So if you want to keep talking political, go ahead and make one more statement and you'll be out of here. You'll be out of the tank and we'll let the dog eat you off on the ground. <laughs> right, everybody?
quite a run up on SOUN. I'm glad to hear that. Thanks for keeping me abreast of the situation, everyone. I appreciate that, Katie. I want you to look at this one too, folks. TCNNF. This was brought out to our attention by my buddy, Double K. And uh, it's looking good today. We're watching this one because someone mentioned it to us earlier. I warned against buying it just over a dollar. And uh, there it is now. Black skies being penetrated. 10X is being penetrated. STEM is looking good. Someone asked me about it yesterday. I said I thought it was a good place to get in. Oh, my LAES. It was up 7% dropped. Oh, no. What is going on with this Beoria? Oh, my God. You're scumbag. Oh, this stock. Oh, I, can, I can't buy anymore. As a matter of fact, I'm out. 10% 10, 10 stop losses in for cap this year. B-I-O-R-A, stock symbol B-I-O-R, I'm done. Somehow tell me in five days, look at B-I-O-R, it'll be at $20 or something, but I'm done, I'm out, I don't care. Sometimes you have to take hits. You know, I've made enough off other stocks to make a compensate for this loss. I count them and go, what happened there? And I go, I bought it on the high. <laughs> out. I... Say farewell, bid you well, have a nice one, Afrita Zane, au revoir, B-I-O-R. Whoever that was suggested to me to look at it that day, please refrain from sending Thai stocks when they're at the high of the day. Bye-bye, <laughs> B-I-O-R, whatever it's sold for or sells for. <sighs> I'll stick to this one. <laughs> I should just move all that money right now back over into this one right here now. That's what I should do. Take that money I just sold and buy into this. I lost half of what I put in, but I'm going to move it back over into something I can double it on, right? Okay, fair enough. Uh, I've made so much off of SOUN now that even through earnings, if they were to go down, I would be so good that it would, I mean, I'd still be green. So I think I might hold this through earnings. I'm especially encouraged by seeing this going up here before earnings. By the way, please refresh my memory. When does SOUN want to be announcing earnings, Katie? After the bell. Oh, after the bell. Quite a run up. Yeah. All right, thank you, Katie, for saying that. I didn't see that. <laughs> hey, Jay, the last thing I'll say to you, no one would have got convicted if they would have brought the National Guard down there, okay? Like Donald Trump suggested and Nancy Pelosi denied and didn't want to happen. All right, STEM working its way back up. Katie Wentworth, S-O-U-N reports after the bell. Good. J-N, sorry. No, you're not. You are you are sorry, all right, if you're going to talk about um, supporting the most corrupt <laughs> government that, leader that we've ever had, in my opinion. Oh, well, y'all come on through the border, <laughs> says the TV reporters. Interview and Joe, who says he cares? Come on down and through the border. It's practically a presidential order. We need you here so we can have your vote. Oh, yeah, we need you here. Oh, somebody's claim was we wouldn't have any crops being picked out of the fields at all if it weren't for all these illegal aliens. <laughs> Why can't you just make them legal and then let them do that? Is my question. STEM working its way back up. Why don't we make sure they're not convicted criminals who've been let out on the streets, have been sent up here and guaranteed to get all our money for free for, for our their benefits that we're handing them and the taxpayers are paying. I got I got news for you. 
I have many Mexican friends and they are disgusted by what he's doing because they paid tens of thousands of dollars to become U.S. citizens and had to go through courses and they had to learn the language and they had to prove themselves and they had to go through a lot of steps and they had to earn it to become a United States citizen. Yeah, Russell K., can we stop with the uh, politics, please? Yeah. RFK time for change. (laughs) Nice tub and tile refreshing. Uh, Katie Wentworth, SOU went up 300% in the last month. Will you hold through earnings? Well, I think I just answered that. And we won't talk any more politics. If we uh, don't want to get our channel squelched down, but somebody comes on here and starts throwing around stupid comments, then I'm going to jump in and retaliate. And uh, that's all I'll say about that. Control. Get out the tank. Let's just send him on his way. Let's send him on his way. JN. You're out of here. That way I won't make it political at all. Don't need to. Don't need anybody to hear anybody talking on that channel. He's in the wrong place. Go find another tank. There are plenty of other tanks out there for you to go troll in. Right, everybody? Right on. All right, so what do we got to to tell you about? Well, we're going to tell you about the PCE news. In case you didn't already hear about it, the inflation was expected where it was. The personal consumption expenditures were right in line with what the predictions were. Headline PCE, including the volatile food and energy categories, increased 0.3 and 2.4. The personal consumption expenditures price index, excluding food and energy costs, increased 0.4 0.4 to 0. Point and, and 2.8 from a year ago, as expected, according to Dow Jones consensus estimate. Just as expected, that's how they performed. This could be very good for possibly rate decreases, interest rate is coming down, which would benefit us in a good way. Meanwhile, we look over at this chart that looks red, but the price is green. How is that? Because I'm on the one month chart. Why am I on the one month chart? Because I want you all to see that every single one who's shorted this stock over the last month has been losing money. All of them that shorted there and there and there and there and there and there and there, 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 and there and there and there and there. They've all shorted and they've all lost money. My venture guess would be 85 to 90% of shorted positions currently this last month have lost money. Might even be higher than that. But I guarantee you that they all have. (laughs) And they're paying interest too, by the way. How do you like that? 600 views. Hit the like button, everybody. Come on now. Come on over. And we invite you to gently apply pressure to the left side of your mouse button over the thumb signal that looks like this. And increase the like button number to 60 because if we get to that guess what happens then more people suddenly start getting the channel thrown in their their direction to come hear what i've got to say because everything i'm going to tell you guys and have been telling you guys for the longest time is that this stock is about ready to explode and this is the reason that i believe it's going to happen okay i actually have two explosive lines on here (laughs) rate of uh uh, rate of an explosion potentials, okay? There there are many that could be out there. Many, many, many that could be there. And right there, they, it could go either one of those two directions right there, all right? I'd actually like to see it continue to follow this line that it currently is on. And it's even more acute than that right now. It's It's really about like that, okay? Just so you're aware of that, folks. But we're watching it real close, and we're watching this stock about to go back over $9. 
now reaching 18 million shares. And they have actually over the last few days been borrowing as much as 15 million shares per day, 10 million shares quite frequently. And uh, this is getting bad for them. This is not what they want to see. Uh, I knew the reason that they would get the low to 882 today is because yesterday's low was 883. <laughs> That's why I bought so many shares when I had my, and I told you guys this morning, you can actually go to the beginning of this video where I will be telling everyone today, well, about two hours ago anyway, I told them I'll put your buy orders on SoFi right now at one penny below yesterday's low and one right at the yesterday's low and one right at one above. I said, break them up into 100 shares each or 50 shares or 10 shares and buy them at 882, 883, and 884. Because yesterday's low was 883. That's what I said and suggested to everyone. And of course, when you look at today's low on the chart here, what does it say the price was? 882. And that is not by coincidence. It's not by happenstance. It didn't just so happen to happen. It had to happen. It had to happen because the low has been at 811, 816, 870, 883. They had to stop it. And by the way, we've seen this exact move right here before, and I'm going to show you where it was in history, everybody. I'm going to show you right now where it was in history. You ready? Here we go. May the 15th. Look where the price was. These are the lows going higher and higher on, on, as of May the 15th. Look what happened. From 445, got one day up, two days up, three days up, and look at the penny pullback. See that? They just couldn't, and look at the high. It was at 513, and they made it 514, and they, a penny pullback off the high too. But folks, why am I showing you this? Because after this happened, and it went one day up, two days up, three days up, and then the one day down a penny, the next day it was up one penny back to the 492, and after that, look what happened. It was up to 522, then 513. They tried to stop it again on the second day when this big gap up happened, and no, forget it. From this 522 over two days on 50 million shares, they ran it down to 509, 13 cents down exactly from 522, 13 cents down. But ladies and gentlemen, after May the 25th, all you saw for the next 20 days was a higher low, a higher low, a higher low, a higher low, higher, 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 bam. 10.23 a share. All right, folks, I've shown this to a lot of people many times, but the relevance here is kind of interesting to see. And the volume is way higher now than it used to be. So I'm showing you, there's the relevance of it. We got w one day higher, two days higher, three days higher, the fourth day, one penny down. How do you like that? Now do we see 20 days of maybe another day higher and then back a yank down attempt for two days in a row, 13 cents, and then it goes right on off. It could easily happen exactly the same way, folks. I'm just telling, I pointed out to you. So that's why I show you this. Look at this. I come back over and we see a very quick flash there. So I can just go to the one day chart. I don't even need to know it. I can tell you that there was just a someone that tried to make a dump right there of a bunch of shares. Let's just see what they just did to try to take it back a penny or two. But that chart, man, folks, that one day chart, everybody, golly. And I want you guys to all understand something right here and now. When I talk to you about Yahoo and the games that they play with the things that they say and the things they won't let you say on their moderator board, and I put down these numbers I just showed you about the highs each day uh, and the lows each day going up for the last four days. They wouldn't even let me post it. They just said no. 
numbers were exactly what I got off their board, but they wouldn't let me post it. But at any rate, so I come in here right now, and I'm looking at the one-day chart now. And dang, doesn't that thing look pretty? Look at the three, look, three candlesticks in a row. Small candlesticks, folks. These are little dinky, minuscule stuff. They get smaller and smaller and smaller because they're running out of power. 91,000 share price jumps all the way up to 894. I'm looking over here, folks. I want to see what made it run up. What time did it start? 1143, folks. Look at all those green candlesticks from 1143 on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven out of eight, eight out of nine, nine out of 10, nine out of 11, 10 out of 12, 11 out of 13, 12 out of 14, 13 out of 15. Man, there's a lot of green there. 13 out of 15 green candlesticks coming up towards lunchtime, for God's sake. And then the lunchtime low, what are you kidding me? 891, let's write down that number. Two twenty nine lunchtime low eight ninety one. Well, that's just where we are right now, folks. Don't worry, she's gonna go higher. She's going higher from here. You can already see them. They're they're coming in right now, folks. The volume is already coming in, and they started early at eleven forty four or eleven forty two. Glad you can all see that with me. And I hope that if you like this information I'm sharing with you, that you'll consider hitting that like button right now, please. And uh, let's get more and more people over here to see this channel. We've jumped to 53. We need to get some more. And let's get up to 60 if we can. And I thank you for being a participant on this channel with me while I show you these very interesting numbers. And the reason that today's low was 882 was because yesterday was 883. And the day before that was 870 and 816 and 811 and 810 and all the way back here to 766 and 745. So, folks, they can't let it just keep going up. The lows keep going up and up and up every once in a while, even if it's just one effing penny. They have to stop it just like they did back here in May that I just showed everybody. The exact same thing is happening, folks, I believe. Going back here, I say it one more time. When you go down here to May the 15th, that was the low on 103 million shares on David Chia Pansy's downgrade, 445, and then one day up, two days up, three days up, and then whammo, it was down one penny before the thing assaulted on the a hill that it could not be stopped until on the way up even higher this day the next day june the 15th oppenheimer piper sandler and bank of america all three downgraded our stock all three of them downgraded sofi on the 15th because we'd gone from 455 all the way up to friggin 1023 why and why was what was happening? Well, everybody was just knew what they were getting. This bank was headed to, and they that, that was just these were the smartest investors right here, and there are a lot of them are still holding those positions, and I'm glad they are. But here we are again, history. I think possibly repeating itself. From that day on May the fifteenth, we saw it rise. A fairly nice rise, 16 cent rise that day, 16 cents. The next day, only up 8 cents. The next day, it made another move of what? 70, uh, 22, 23 cents. So you're seeing the increases, 16. Then it goes up, and this is only 8 cents, so you got a 16 cent move, an 8 cent move, a 23 cent move, and then after that, one day down. Folks, we got bigger moves now. Look at this, look at right now what's happening. Okay? From this low right here at 11, the next day, look at that. Coincidentally, it was a 5 cent move when back then it was 6. 
But then look at this second day's move. That's a 54 cent move, folks, on 66 million. That's a big difference. Things are different these days, people. Things are different these days. Then the next day, we went up 13 cents. So today, it had to be stopped by one, just like they did before. But we got a bigger move up this time, folks, than in May. It's got more strength. It has more volume behind it. That's what I'm getting at. May the 15th. 16 cent. I was wrong. The other one, this one was six. 16 cent and five. Okay, that's the comparison. The next day was when it only went up eight. We went up 54 cents on that day. Nice. And then that much up. But then there's the penny pullback. The next day it goes on up. It goes on up. And then here is the two-day 13-cent pullback. I'm showing you this to know what we could expect. All right? Even though we may see a new higher low tomorrow and then another higher low by 30 cents and another, we may see after that, we might see two-day pullback before a 20-day run to the earnings call. I don't know that for a fact. I can't say it's going to happen, but... I'm just saying it happened before. It could happen again. So you're aware of it, everybody on this channel. I'm not saying that uh, anything that I can guarantee on this channel, all right? Everything I say is based on the charts and on the volume and on history. That's what I study. Cat, check 10X. Oh. You know, can you help me out and not give me a heart attack? Just put 10 X's up. Oh, ho, ho. check it out. What did they make an announcement? See, this is what I told you. Periodically, they can give an update on this study that they're doing. What does it say? Three hours ago, 10 X therapeutics announces oral presentation of levosimendin for the treatment of PFT. Dr. A renowned global expert in this treatment of the, oh, will present data highlighting the use. I told you they could give this kind of announcement. Yes. I told you there could be updates. And I told you there could be pops on the updates. I just said this yesterday. Somebody asked me about it, 10X. I said, buy it. Oh. What does it say? We'll present data highlighting the use of lymphosimendin for the treatment of pulmonary hypertension due to heart failure with preserved ejection fraction. Presentation will occur on March the 6th. Tenex Therapeutics, a phase three development stage pharmaceutical company focused on identifying, developing, and commercializing products that address cardiovascular and pulmonary disease with high unmet medical needs. See, there's no one else that has a cure for this. Today announced Mr. Dr. Sunyev Shah, Stone Endowed Professor of Medicine, Director of Research for the Bloom Cardiovascular Institute, and Director of the HFPEF program at Northwestern University, another one, Feinberg School of Medicine, will present data and review the scientific basis for the use of this lifosimendin. Dr. Shaw's presentation will occur during scientific session focused on the treatment of pulmonary hypertension in patients with heart failure at upcoming Cardiovascular Research Foundation's Technology and Heart Failure Learning and Conference in Boston. THT 2024 is an ideal forum for raising awareness about the unique properties of levosimendin and its potential to improve the hemodynamic or abnormalities underlying PHHFPEF, said, uh, said Chris uh, Giordano, President and Chief Executive Officer of 10X Therapeutics. Our phase three level study is on the cutting edge of PHF develop, drug development. And 10X is privileged. Dr. Shaw has chosen to review this. Folks, Awesome. Another at another college, folks. Part of this uh, study is being done by Mayo Clinic, and another one is by Harvard. They got some big players in here with them that are going to help them verify whether or not this is a viable 
cure for people who have this problem, all right? Not cure, but, you know, can increase their lifestyle uh, and make it better, all right? Improve their cardiovascular after heart is conditioned, this drug that they've got. All right, folks, good, good news. What, folks? Cha-ching! Watch this one run too, folks, this afternoon. We're refreshing the screen right now to see if we have any five click, quick, quick uh, clicks through it. I just read all about it, so hopefully you got that information. There's the update. I told you they could be give breaking news on how things are going with what they got already in these patients that are already being treated. And all they have to do is just have, you know, I would guess five or six people that are improving and they can go, hey, here's what we got so far. See, what I said already about this final improvement for 10X is the longer we don't hear anything, the better. All right? The longer we have to wait to get news, the better. Because folks, if they start to see trouble, they can see it early on. Usually they can detect things fairly quickly and they'll pull the plug on it. All right. But I don't see that happening this, even this far down the line. Uh, we we got to have more patients coming in on this. I know that they are. They're, they're sitting there talking with people as we speak right now that are having this trouble and saying, you know, there is this study that's being done by this. And it, there has been proof that it works over in Europe for over 10 years. They've been using it. We think you should give it a try. And they go, sure. <laughs> right? How easy is that? It's a no-brainer. Yeah. It's been used for over 10 years in Europe, and it's given improvements to people over there. And the FDA is studying it now for improvement here, and it's in its level three. So all the first level guinea pigs are cleared, and all the second level guinea pigs have cleared. And now we're going to the third level guinea pigs, which could, you could be one of. And if you clear, then this is going to be federally approved for everyone to use. So would you like to be part of that? Yes, I want to. Sign me up. Right? 10X, I told you, folks. BITF, I told you about this stock. I buy it just then at 280. I bought it at 280 several times. Got to look at some other things here. PLTR looks good. Take a look at this. I bought this one here already, folks. At 15. 95. I bought this at the low of the day, I believe. Let's see what the low of the day was. I got popped on there and I saw the screen. I said, dang, it was, it was uh, 1581. But I bought it at 1595, people. GCT going right on up after they manipulated their way in. And I told you about this one, everybody. I hope you're making money off of this. Sound up 300%. Well, let's see. Cat, check 10X. Thank you. Did somebody get a call about 10X? I explained that. They got news, folks. They're going to break some news. I got to go let my dog out, folks. Just give me a minute. You can hear him barking. I hope he really needs out and isn't just wanting me to give him food because that's not going to happen. One o'clock Eastern time when I sound the bell. And I will be back very shortly. And I'm going to show you all the people who've donated to this cause today and made contributions to help me keep this channel up daily, all day long. So here we go. Those are the ones right here that have done that. Thank you very much, everyone. Okay, everybody, that was a very quick break. Here we are, back with Catfish. All right, folks, 
Uh, that was good because he actually quit barking right there before I went out. Folks, look at this cup and handle formation forming right now. There's a very, very, very nice looking cup and handle formation on SoFi as I speak, everybody, in case you didn't notice that. Oh, my goodness gracious. Let's get in here a little closer. Keep my, my volume down. People come over to this channel and I show them history, folks, and, and I look at charts very closely and I and I dig deep, deep, deep to find out what I can. And right now what I see happening here is a very, very, very nice looking chart formation, folks. I'm looking here at the chart with all these very big green candlesticks here periodically popping in about every five minutes. And I like the look of it. I'm impressed with the SoFi stock today, folks. Very impressed with what I'm seeing. Our performance is right where it needs to be right now. We're just got people accumulating the shares and in institutions that have never come in before, gathering more shares as it rises. Kathy Woods buying like crazy. Vanguard's been buying BlackRock. Everybody, all the big players, the big, big players are buying the stock. You need to understand that. The driving force of the market, the driving forces, the biggest ones. And I think more institutions, just like Hurricane Lopez said, already own positions. They just haven't reported it yet. I think it is changing and it's going up. It's up to 39.76. It's almost over 40. And he thinks it's already over 45. Or could be. By the way, look at BITF now, folks. How do you like them? How do you like them now? All right. Bought that at what? Bought it at 289, 288.99, 289, and 290. And now it dropped down. And then I got to buy it at 282, 280, 281, and 283. Cha ching. I see 920 as resistance is what I see, 920. I definitely see 920 as resistance. It's always been there and it will always remain at least for another three hours, perhaps. And if after that, we don't see that thing there at 920 anymore, folks, if we see this thing over 920, it's going to be at 1020. Mark my words, this thing breaks over 920, it will quickly be at 1020. And it wouldn't surprise me at all to see that. Ian Long, first time here, thank you. I've got 60 calls for 950 on 38, okay? So if I has news with U.S. Bank coming soon. Well, there are two very, very possible theories about that. And welcome to the tank, kimchi bacon. It means that Sohn is moving. You see, it seems that S-O-U-N is moving. Yes, yes, before their earnings call, which is today after hours. Uh, if you have soon, S-O-U-N, or sound, you can call it sound because they are actually, the word is sound, is the derivative of S-O-U-N. But yes, they are moving very nicely. Congratulations to everybody that bought with me two days ago. And uh, good deal. We're, we're seeing a very nice increase on that. And that might be time here, right there, to sell. <laughs> look at that thing running, though. It blew through seven. Did you see that? Oh, my God. Look how fast this thing is updating. Well, I would say do not sell this right yet. <laughs> Sound is riding the NVIDIA hype. Shares price not justify. Yeah, I don't care, man. I made great money on this stock already. It's up 300% in the last month. And I said I was going to hold it. But folks, I'm not going to hold it, okay? I'm going to get out right here. I'm going to take my money. I, I bought it way less than this again, and I'm up big time, so I'm taking my money now. Sorry. <laughs> well, I'm not going to be sorry about it if it drops on earnings, but I might cry if it doesn't. And it might just rock it on up, but I don't hold the earnings. So I'm going to sell 75% of this position right now.
right here, right now, the better better place I'd rather be. And I'm going to try to get out here at seven dollars and twenty cents. Place it. I got three quarters of my position at seven dollars and twenty cents. Why? Because I always tell you to sell at that number. I always tell you to sell at 713, really in uh, 712. So we're already over that. So the next number is 720. That's my guess. And that's what I think it's going to. Especially since it's gone over and now they tried to bump it back down to 713. It didn't hold two times. That's two times already. So it's going on up. It'll get 720. It's toggling 14, 15 now. It's going for 20 for sure. It's toggling 15 to 16, then just count on it. Here's the number I'm looking at here. There it is. 16, folks. We're going to 20. <laughs> Look at how hard they're trying to hold it there. 713. See that? That's somebody committed, man. <laughs> Come on, baby. Break on over that again right now. Just fly past it. There it goes. There she goes. Just a little head fake back to the 713. It's failed. Their efforts to hold it there are failing. 714 again, 715. Man, I am so far behind the times right now. I need to move it. I'm going to refresh the screen right now. Keep on going, baby. Right on over. And actually, right here, I'm going to change this order. And I'm going to break it up a little bit. I'm going to change this one here. And I'm going to make it 719. Split, I'm splitting it in half, 719, and then the other half will be at 720. That's what I'm going to do. 719 and 720. And I that's only uh, half. That's half of the half. <laughs> half of the three quarters, I should say. Half of the three quarters. Because I'm selling three quarters of my shares at 720 right here and 719. All right. That's what I'm shooting for. We'll see if I get it. There's 717 now, so it should go right on up. Never does it almost never stop at 718. It will go to 719. And then we'll maybe see 720 here. Come on. One more penny and I'm out. One more penny and I'm out of here. Get ready to ring the bell, baby. Let me sell it now. Come on. Let me have it. You can have my shares. They're right there. Just take it right off the tree. I'm handing them out to you. Just free. They're free, practically. Seven nineteen a share. Take them. Take them from me. There she goes. Very nice. And there's my seven twenty. Thank you. I can't regret it later on. I still got 25% of the shares. I'm good. All right. So. $350. It was $375 and $375. $720 and $719. Next number I'm looking for, folks, is going to be uh, to get rid of some more here. Uh, I'll do 100 shares here at 729. 
Actually, I'll do 728. I won't get greedy. Come on. Heck. There. Review order and place it. We'll see what happens here if I can pick up 728 and get rid of another 100 and a half. Seven, there it is, 728, bam. Thank you. 100 there. Look at a run, folks. Holy smokes, at 111, look at this thing. I'm going to go ahead. I can see that pull back there. I'm going to go ahead and go for another 100 right here. Review order and place it. <clears throat> See what we get right here. I'm just doing market share orders. I don't, I don't care. Come on, baby. Give me the top. 733. Another 100 at 733. Well, I'm almost sold it all. <laughs> I've almost sold it all now. Fifty shares left, folks. <laughs> well, I'm I'm just not going to be greedy, folks. I've mean, I've learned from that so many times, and I'm just not going to do it. Maybe I'm wrong, but I don't think so. All right. If you had sown and you bought it with me then I hope you sold it because you just made a good profit, all right? Again, you've made a major killer profit on it. And there it goes. Back down she falls, 727, 726. Nice, very, very nice. That's why I like to sell at that 30, 31 because I know how much they like to attack from 31 back. Looks like CLSK is turning, huh? Turning north, I hope you're saying. Oh, good. Yeah. I bought that at doggone 1555, folks. Right there. Boom. 1595. I'm sorry. 1595. Nice buy. You guys heard me when I went over there and looked at it. I said, now's the time to get in. That's a long time sideways. Too long. Too long sideways. Look at that sofa. I'm about to break nine. Oh! And I told you it would. Folks, we might break a record here. We might go over 920. This is early, folks. This is early movement here. This is good. This is very good. Look at this thing heating up, baby. Fire. Bounce, 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 fire. Bounce, 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 bounce. Oh, yeah. They took it down to a penny below. And now look at that sucker go. Oh, fire. No, oh, now took her down a penny below uh, fire. And now look at that thing. She's about to blow fire. Oh, here yeah, I ain't playing no game fire. Oh, look at this so far. She's in flames. Oh, no, no. Bottle out. Bottle out. Bottle out. Bottle out. They can't put it out, everybody. No, bottle out. Better call the three alarm. I told you you'd come to harm. I told you you might break your arm. Getting run over by all the people trying to exit this stock. All the shorters know. You can see the price. Let it go. It's going to run. Don't you know? Ha ha. Yeah. Oh, fire. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. boom, boom. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, fire. That was easy. Wasn't that easy? That was easy. 
That was very easy. That was easy money, baby. Easy money. SoFi will be like sound soon. You're right, man. Oh, yeah. She's on fire. No, no. Look at that money coming in on fire. Bum, bum, bum. Looks to me like we got a whole bunch of buyers. Don't, don't, don't. Look at that thing rise. No. Look at your two eyes and fire. Yeah. Oh. oh, yeah. I get crazy on this channel. Singing Catfish, the singing stock guru. I'm going to stick to my game. I'm going to go by my name. I ain't going to have no kind of shame. I'm going to have no one to blame. <laughs> I go by the name Catfish Tyler. Emilio Aguirre, LOL. You the boss. All in the animation. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ian Long. Ian Long, welcome to the tank. I like to greet everybody I don't recognize who's been here before. So welcome, Ian. Also, welcome, Emilio, Emilio, and welcome, Almond Animation. Oh. Oh, good. Thank you very much. Ah, it ain't easy told me about you. Thank you, it ain't easy. You can hear my big old pit bull, Willis, in the ground joining in the show. Don't you know when I start to go, he gets wanting to jump in here too. He wants to say his part. He wants to let you know sci-fi is a buy. You can't get it below this anymore. Everybody, it's going on up. It's going to rise and rise. You can see the cup and you saw the handle. You saw it got wiggled and now look at it jiggle as it runs right on up, everybody. Look at that. 666 views of the channel today. And that is not an ominous number. That doesn't mean a thing anymore because the new number for the sign of the devil is 616. Now, some of you might be sitting there wondering to yourself, what is he talking about? Everybody knows from all the way back to Friday the 13th in Amityville and everything is 666. Well, that's not true. The new information released recently says that new Dead Sea Scrolls were discovered and the techniques they used to look at the writing made it very clear that the number was not the previously believed 666, but is in fact in the Bible 616. Now, the reason that I say this to you is because you can look it up on Google if you want. You talk about all kinds of things. They say, don't talk about religion, and they don't say, don't talk about politics. Well, I break all the rules. <laughs> I break them all. <laughs> if you want to see me when I was on the Wheel of Fortune, go right there. There's the video on Google. You can put in Wheel of Fortune, Tyler, Amy, Joy, and there's the search I did right there. Wheel of Fortune, Tyler, Amy, Joy. There is my video on you. On you can see how I did. That's me standing there next to Pat Sajak right there. Anyway, and I'm not joshing you folks. I'm telling you the truth. There it is. But I'm saying goodbye to that now because we want to go to a Google search here. And we're going to put 666 is not the number of the beast. It's the number one recruited uh, thing there. And there it is. Papyrus, as well as other ancient sources like Codex and so forth, give the number of the beast is 616. Arabic numeral 616. That number is, an, and it says here, Gematria, which was used by the people who were writing the Bible to attack people they wanted to attack without getting themselves killed. It says a newly discovered fragment of the oldest surviving copy of the New Testament indicates that as far as the Antichrist goes, theologians, scholars, heavy metal groups, and television evangelists have got the wrong number. Instead of 666, it's actually the far less ominous 616. Professor David Parker, professor of the New Testament of Textual Criticism and Paleography at the University of Birmingham, thinks that this 616, although less memorable than 666, is the original. 
He said, this is an example of gematria, where numbers are based on the numerical values of letters and people's names. And early Christians would use numbers to hide the identity of people they were attacking. 616 refers to Emperor Caligula. There you go. You learned something new today. Forget all about 666. It means nothing. The book of Revelation is traditionally considered to be written by John. They say it identifies 666 as the mark of the Antichrist, but we've got to change all that now. And they and the Satanists responded coolly to the new revelation. And they said, well, the high priest of Church of Satan based in New York said, by using 666, we're using something that the Christians fear. Mind you, if they do switch to 616 being the number of the beast, then we'll start using that. <laughs> there you go, folks. You learned something new here on the channel today. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you hit the like button for your educational. Look at the NU right now, folks. Looking nice. What's SoFi doing? It broke over nine again yet? It's heading there, folks. You hear my dog. He's barking purely and simply for the purpose of food. He does not need out. He's been out several times. He wants me to feed him. He's not supposed to be fed until 730, and he does this every single day. <laughs> he just gets antsy because he doesn't want to wait. But this is the per order of my stepson. Food and feed him in the morning, feed him at night, and don't do anything in between. So we don't. We give him a little treat every once in a while, sneak him something. But thank you all of you that are here with me right now as we look at all these stocks. Look at this one here, folks. Did I not tell you to buy this this morning on the rundown? It was up 40% yesterday, and I suggested they would run it down shake out all those newbies, and then run it right back up. Well, there it is. Bought this today at almost the low of the day. $29.50 I bought this. The low of the day, as you can see, if you look at the day's range on this, is not what they're showing because it was lower than that. I can guarantee you it was lower than 30.68. It says the day's range was 30. I can tell you for a fact because I have an order that filled at, at 29.50. So they're wrong. It happened right here. And that was the time that I filled the order. Everybody was on the channel with me when I did it. Anyway. I don't know why they're showing that as the day's range, but they are incorrect. And I've seen that before. I bought it the low that they didn't show in print before. I love it when I see that. I go, man, look at that. They don't even know the real low. I got it lower than that. <laughs> anyway, folks, I'm not proud of it. I'm grateful to the good Lord above for it, for giving me the guidance and the understanding of the way the market's manipulated. The Lord told me, Tyler, go look at history to tell you the future of what stocks will do. And I said, okay, good Lord above. Thank you for that little tip. And I've been doing that ever since. And what I did to look at history yesterday was I looked at the price of the low yesterday and it was 883. And I said, oh my goodness, well, since the stock has gone up from 811 to 816 to 870 to 883, they're going to try to pull it down. So I told everybody this morning at about 1030, put in your orders to buy this stock at 882, 83 and 84. Break them up into three chunks. In case they can't get it to 882 uh, uh, or 883, yesterday's low, put your order first, a smaller one at 884, and then put your bigger one at 883, and then another one, a smaller at 884, or 882. That's what I said. Because, folks, they're going to try to get it down to one penny below after you've got four days in a row going up. They're going to do it. They did it before back in May. I'm showing you that already. Everybody saw, but some of you are new now. So I'll go back to May and show you the exact same occurrence. It was on May the 15th. They did the exact same occurrence. It was at 445 for the low. One day up, two days up, three days up. The fourth day, a penny down. Then the damn thing was at $10.13 later. All right, 1023 exact after 29 days. There you've been informed. All right, here we go. Over nine. Ain't this divine. Everything's so fine. Blowing Shorty's mind. Back over nine. Yes. Nice tub and towel refinished and cuz they no sooner eat than poop. <laughs> it, yeah. Oh, I got to get back up here. <sighs> it ain't easy told me about you. 
Uh, nice time and time. The dogs are Sooners. Yep. Nice time and time because they no sooner eat than poop. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> uh, Ian Sofi, Sofi and I, Savage, Mars. Yes. We ring that dang bell. I told you it was going to go back up over nine today. And now let's just see if they have a way to stop it from going over 920. Because, folks, we got a lot of time left here for this big move already happening. And you can look over here and see what's coming in on this stock. And I bet you it's more institutions, more equity funds, more school funds, more insurance company funds, more of the kind of money we want coming in, not these hedge funds. We don't want hedge funds being the primary institutional owners. This is exactly why I am of the belief the reason institutional ownership has gone from 800 is because I believe 10 hedge funds no longer hold shares. I could be wrong, but I don't think so. I got to get some water, folks. Hold on a minute. All right, we back. You know, one day I'm going to be on this channel with all you guys and gals, and this sucker's going to take off to the freaking moon on news that nobody expected and nobody knew was coming. We're all going to be ready for it because we've got our sell orders in place already, right? At higher numbers. Everyone does. You've already got your orders in and through the 11s, the 12s, the 13s, the 14s, 15s, 16s, 17s. Somebody told me they were limited up to 24 or $25. I believe if you don't have a margin account, they'll cap you at $25 to how high you can put the SoFi price right now. But it's going to raise because SoFi's price is rising, see? And we're on our way to $10 very quickly after we break over 920, folks. And if it happens today, which I that's what I'll see happen. All the markets. Look at the S&P 500, folks. Did you guys know that there's $40 trillion in the S&P and only about $20 trillion in the NASDAQ? You may not have known that. There's a lot more money in this right here. And this is what you call the old folks money. Old money. OK, this is old money in the S&P, and this is something else that hasn't been talked about very much. But when SoFi shows profitability for four quarters in a row and gets to that fifth one, they can go into the S&P. They can migrate over into the S&P 500, everybody. Watch out then. Watch out then. Do you get you get this opened up to people that are in the S&P market and give them the potential to buy in? It's like another IPO, people. Okay, I'm telling you right now. Year from now, this thing's going to be moved over to the S&P 500, and the price will be possibly ninety dollars a share. Ian Law says, "Beware! I heard some bearish news in the bank sector coming from March 12th to the 16th. Something about defaults or something. Let them default on their. You know that." Uh, SoFi's clientele base has an average FICO score 